love. Starting goaltenders are brought to you by Chevrolet. Find new roads. And what a tournament it's been so far for both. As we see Chateauguay and Prince Albert's netminders. Etienne Montepi for Chateauguay and Connor Ingram today for the Mentos. We are underway. Fans excited about an opportunity to find out exactly who in a couple hours will have an opportunity to lift the TELUS Cup championship. Pilot back in his own zone will take it in behind his net. Malpatine, the netminder who he's circled there, has been brilliant in the event so far. Find out exactly how much work he's going to get from this very team-oriented Prince Albert team. Very impressed with the style of Prince Albert. Very well coached. Always above the puck. Have man back. It'll be interesting how uh, Chateauguay gets through this tough defense of Prince Albert. Levesque will play it in from center ice. Back in his own zone. An opportunity here for Matthew Parsons to play it up the wing. And he's got it to Sopkowit. Sopkowit making a play. Give and go back here with Garrett. He'll go rank wide. Nobody's home. Prince Albert in their green uniforms here today. Will take over as it's fed into the offensive zone by Keegan Cargard. Back for the puck now. Adam Pilot. Pilot makes a move to his partner. Degagne will bank it off the wall and the rolling puck goes back into Minto Ice. Prince Albert, the top team in this event, going 3-0-2 in their round robin this week. Left side, Kipling plays it in on goal and Mopati will hold on. Let's head inside the Minto locker room and find out what Ken Morrison thought of today's preparation. So, I want you, message today to you guys is I want you to enjoy it, soak it all in, work as hard as you can, okay? If we're able to pull this one off, you guys are going to be bonded together as brothers for life. Play inside the Chattagay zone, worked on the left wing, and it's played out by Brandon McCulloch to center. In across the Minto line, here's McCulloch, their point leader during the regular season and the postseason. Mintos bring it back in. Putin one on two, shoots, and an active stick there played by Mikel Savarin will get the puck up over the glass and out of play. Really like the message there from the head coach, Ken Morrison. It's so true. When you win as a team, uh, you stick together forever. You cherish these great memories. This group for... Uh, very well coached. They understand how to play a defensive type of game. They, very, they they don't take a lot of chances, but they wait for the opposition to make a mistake. That's the message Morrison will be giving his players today before the game. Mentos win the offensive zone draw. Cody White on the far side will take it in the corner, looking to walk around in front. Goes behind the goal, feeds back to the left wing. Right in Lazinski, cross ice. Shot from the point, didn't get through. One thing that this Quebec-based club has been able to do is block shots this week. Mentos though able to keep the pressure on. Finally, Doucette, who's the largest man in the tournament at 6'4", 215, is able to win his first physical battle. A very big man, and he's, you know, he's starting to understand how he has to play by getting to the front net and crashing bang. Samson in over the blue line, has Doucette going to the net. He'll take the shot instead. Ingram makes his first save. Buck is loose, they jam away. They still hammer away. Ingram down covering the low half. And it's worked out of Hart's way off the left side boards and back into Chateauguay ice. Two and a half minutes into a scoreless opening period. Here's Crate. We looked at him at the beginning of the hockey game. Somebody that brings all the offense from the blue line. And Ingram will hold on once more. Chateauguay's head coach is Bruce Richardson. And we'll hear from him in a moment, but really a good scoring chance. This is where I think Chateauguay has the advantage. They're very quick on the attack. They use their speed, they don't hold back. They're flying, they attack the line with speed. Very difficult for the Prince Albert team to, to adjust to. They're gonna have to hold their positions and not give up the blue line as easily as they did there. That was Greer, a young 15-year-old in the face-off circle. He's got the first chance again, and the best scoring chance maybe of the game stopped by Ingram. Here is the head coach, Bruce Richardson for Chateauguay. This is how we started the year, hey, our identity in, in your face hockey, and that's how we finished tonight. This is our trophy. This is our trophy. We didn't do all the, those flight and those practices okay, for nothing, and this is going to pay off tonight. But we need a starter to start tonight. Mentos clear it in from center, three on three. Degagne back for the puck in his own zone. Crate is there, left side, cleared off his stick. And Morrison will go back for it here with his defense partner, Matthew Parsons. On top of it, though, a chance. And Xavier Greer 
fires it wide. So far, the Grenadiers have had three shots towards the PA net, and the Mentos have yet to officially test Etienne Mont of Petit at the other end of the ice. Durrett works it into the offensive zone. Peacock back for it. Durrett will get there. Puck stolen away by Cardinal, the captain, and he'll just bank it down. And the goalie Ingram will come out, and he'll play it safely on the left wing as the Mentos get a line change in. Great back at his own half. Here's Saberin. There's it far side. Putin goes back for it for the Mentos. Circles back in behind his goal. The 16-year-old out of Mooseman, in Saskatchewan. Made the play up the middle. It didn't work out, and this will be icing. Bruce Richardson with a nice, fiery message for his team. Getting this guy's jacked up. They're yes. ready to go, Munzee. I love it. Uh, for his team tonight, they've got to use their quickness. We talked to him yesterday. He said that it was a more of an offensive team against the well-structured defensive team of Prince Albert. If they use their quickness like they have so far in the first four minutes, uh, they could very well come out on top. Levesque wins the faceoff from Grant. Back to the line. Tayfair plays it off to Cardinal. He's their captain. Stolen away in the defensive zone by Granville. Here they come. Two on two. White on the left wing. Long shot. Montpetit bobbles it, and he's able to recover there. And the first shot that comes towards him is uh, a little interesting, to say the least. <laughs> We've seen this all week from uh, Prince Albert. They drive hard, and they shoot, and they have guys going to the net. I mean, a very simple recipe, but it works. And uh, I think we can see a little bit from Montpetit, maybe some nerves there. Uh, the puck bounces around, not the rebound control that he will want through the rest of this game. Montpetit, really good yesterday, made 39 saves in that semifinal. Prince well, Albert trying to get pressure on, opportunity in front, stolen away. Here they come, a breakaway opportunity for the game's opening goal, he scores! Chattagay strikes first, Tyler Highland. That's his third of the event, and it's 1-0 Grenadier. Tyler Highland getting in behind the Prince Albert D. Gets the breakaway, a guy that actually was identified by his coach Richardson as a very good PK man for him. Gives him a little more than just that. A very nice move to open up the wickets, tucking him in there. Prince Albert, a, 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 a mistake you don't often see from this well-structured, disciplined team. Celebrated his 16th birthday on Monday. Only had four goals during the regular season in 40 games, but this is his third of the week. Came to play on the big stage, one nothing for the Quebec region champions. Fourth shot of the game, they're able to get it in. Mentos in the offensive zone, looking to tie in a hurry, but they won't have a chance here, as Danik Cradle start out with it here, the assisted captain. Left wing pass, in over the blue line. Here's McCulloch, holding on to it. Nice play. McCulloch still with the puck, drops it back left wing. Peacock is shot, goes wide. LeBear is down and behind the goal. Working for it here, and our first penalty of the game is coming up. Just under five minutes into the first period. But I think getting the goal first for uh, shot to game is very important. PA wanted, wanted to probably get uh, that first goal so they could kind of play their system. Now they may have to open up a little bit. Brax George getting his stick a little bit too high on the opposition. And we'll see the Grenadier power play go to work. They scored seven times on the man advantage this week. Look for the big shot from Crate on the point who has the puck. Yes, he does. Number 92, now to McCullough. He'll tee it up. Chance in front. They jam away, and it just goes wide left wing. Back to the blue line. LaBerge walking, looking. Good patience down to the corner now, and Payusov stolen away. Sopkowitz trying to get it out. He can't do it. Renatia keeping it in the offensive zone. Crate waiting, looking. He'll let it go, side of the goal, can't get it onto the stick there with Pascal LaBerge. LaBerge stolen by Morrison up the wing. Cargard had his man go by him, and LaBerge has it continuing here on the power play. McCulloch walking in. Left wing circle, spinning with the puck as Payasov to the midpoint. Crane drive deflected just wide. McCulloch with just over a minute remaining in the power play to LaBerge. Top of the right wing circle to McCulloch. Left wing, Crate able to hold it in. Morrison made the defensive play. The Grenadiers still keep with it, though. McCulloch's shot didn't get through. Buckle on the sidewall. Payasov's been all over the ace here in the early parts of the power play. He'll dance it back in behind the goal. 
There's Doucette. Left wing side now to LaBerge. Trying to get away from Sobkowicz. LaBerge still with it. What a young star this kid's going to be, a 16-year-old. While on the right wing, it's McCulloch. Trying to walk through. LaBerge waiting with it. Back to the point now to Crate. Crate giving room, midpoint area. Being watched here on the penalty kill by Cargard. Now a shot by McCulloch gets blocked. Good job by Parsons to break up the lane. Great in the final 10 seconds of the power play. Off the wall, the Bears. And the save is made as it was contested seven times in the game already. You can get the sense with two set the big man for shots at game front. Taking up a lot of space. They're again trying to get as many shots from the point as they can. I think the flank men are trying to get too far away. The angle is not good enough. Sancho will send it in on goal, and Ingram will knock it away from the front of his net. Kipling holding up. He and Kipling right now, the two defensemen on the ice, Brody Reimer the other. And it's skated out here on the left wing side by Blackie Air. Slap shot off the legs of Saver, and a chance in front, and Putin will put it wide of the goal. You like that Blackie Air that we've had a chance to watch towards the end of the week. I really like Black Air. He's, he's an energy player, and we spoke to... Uh, Morrison, the head coach of VP, and he said how much you can play him in any situation. That's a comfortable player for any coach. one nothing. the Grenadier lead in this championship game against the Prince Albert Mentos. They're out shooting their opposition 8-2 early. What happens when you combine the best coverage with the best available power? and the best available fuel efficiency, you win the Automobile Journalists Association of Canada Award for the best new pickup. Incredible thinking, the best practice of professional grade. During truck month, get lease and finance rates as low as 0% and a 40 cent off per liter gas card when you buy or lease. Plus, eligible owners receive a $2,000 spring bonus. This is an Avioner. Avioners have the right to fly during peak seasons. The freedom to choose any flight on any airline. The freedom to avoid unnecessary flight connections. Avioners have rights and freedoms that are the envy of the Travel Rewards Card universe. Get the RBC Avion card and start avioning today. CFB Moose Jaw, the 15 wing, home of the Snowbirds. Canadian Forces Air Demonstration Squad. And there it is, what they're playing for today. The TELUS Cup, which needed a little bit of preparation itself, Jason. Well, they have two of their finest engineers working on the cup. Apparently a screw was loose or missing. Look at these guys, they're really putting their heart and soul into fixing that cup up. 12-16 to play in the opening period. The Grenadier in front, one nothing. And they'll win the offensive zone draw as Craig will play it around the boards. Highland, who's got the goal. Played in left wing, now stolen away. Georgia took the minor penalty on the afternoon so far. The Gagne will keep it in. Play down in behind the Prince Albert net. Mintos are vying for their third national championship here this afternoon. Crate holding it in as the Grenadier are playing for their first. They've been here once before. The Grenadier have and they earned a bronze medal back in 2006. Rolling puck back into the Chattagay zone and there's Degagne for it. And on the forecheck is Granville, the young 16 year old. Degagne up the middle now, Highland. It's the PA line, snaps a shot well wide of the goal. Pilot keeps it in. On the near wing side, Matarash unable to get a handle on it. Levesque will go after it in behind the goal. Comes over left wing. And Kaye is able to relieve pressure here. Are the Mentals right now, Jason, looking like what we've seen this week? Not at all. Right now, to me, they look very uptight, very nervous. They need something positive to happen. They need some dumps, have some nice offensive zones, some cycle time. Get feeling good about themselves, like I talked about in the opener. To me, they just really look uptight and not, not settled in their game. TSN's exclusive coverage of the Raptors' playoff run continues tonight as the series stays in Brooklyn for Game 4 in this first-round Eastern Conference matchup. Live coverage gets underway at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific here on TSN. Or watch live wherever you are with live streaming at tsn.ca and the TSN Go app. 
Face off in the Granadier zone. The 17-year-old Montpetit has been tested only three times in the event so far here today. It was really good this week, though. A 9.33 save percentage. There's one as he's able to make the save. Kaye gets it off to Roberts. Fourth line for Prince Albert trying to generate something. McCulloch will get it now to LaBerge, and he over actually skates the puck. Turned in left wing by Matarash. Long distance shot, smothered, held. And that's one thing we've seen from Montpetit in the event is he doesn't allow a lot. Speaking of goaltenders, how about the two from Prince Albert? They share the top goaltender award. Ingram, who's getting the start here today. Lane McCashew, who had a 988 save percentage this week, doesn't even get the final two games. That was your uh, grade average in math 12, I believe. Yes, something along those lines. <laughs> Kipling trying to keep it in with his left glove can't. And covering up effectively is Reimer in his own zone. Otherwise, that would have been a great chance. Sobkowicz coming in, low shot wide, left wing. Puck goes down in behind the Chattagay goal. On top of it first here is Durrett. Durrett giving it to Cargard. Peacock tying him up. Puck along the right wing side, Durrett. Batted free by Malpatee, the netminder. Back to the left wing to Kipling. Kipling will tee it up. That one's stopped by a glove. Peacock held up by Durrett. We've passed the midway point of the opening period. Shattagay in front, one nothing on the goal by Tyler Highland. His team leading eight point this week. Battling hard in the offensive zone now is Yaremchuk, but the puck is fed free and worked back into Prince Albert Ice. Kipling to the left of his netminder, playing it up the boards. There's nobody there except for Sabarin, who's played in all 21 playoff games for the Grenadier this year. And the puck is cleared out of play with 9.26 remaining in the first period. I really like this move by head coach Morrison. He, he sees... He, he. Let's take a timeout as the Grenadier are in front by a 1-0 score. Highlands got it here today. Lots to go from Moose Jaw. Trivago searches hundreds of websites at the same time and shows you the most popular hotels. Remember, Trivago shows you all the different prices for the exact same room. That's how you can be sure that you'll find the ideal hotel for the best price. Hotel Trivago. Join the team and play on the first line. Volunteer for the 2015 IIHF World Junior Championship coming to Montreal and Toronto. Visit HockeyCanada.ca slash 2015 juniors for more details. Three years after appearing in this tournament, Patrick Waugh leads the Montreal Canadiens to an unexpected Stanley Cup. Became the youngest Conn Smythe Trophy winner in history at age 20. Second most wins by a goaltender in NHL history to go along with three Vesnas, three Conn Smythes, four Stanley Cup championships. And yes, back in 1982, he played for St. Foy in this event. And boy, there's a pretty impressive list. Jason Strudwick is in there. Very impressive list. Of all those guys, there's none of them I'd want to see coming down on me or try to score a goal on. Excellent player. one nothing Grenadier with the early lead on the Highland marker. Grant trying to work it in. Gets it far wing side. Puck played by Greer back in behind his own goal. Off the wall now. Sagan will hold on to it. The young 15-year-old playing in this event. One of the youngest players we've seen this week. Mentos able to keep it in. Nope. White couldn't get it, actually. And there he is. Sagan on the left wing. Hesitates. Long shot. Steered into the corner by Ingram. Plantel on the wall. Fires it wide. Left wing corner. White just slapping it out. Grant bodied by his man. And Pilot will play catch at his own zone right now here with Degagne. Left wing side. Shot in deep by Belmar. Lazinski for the puck. 
around the perimeter. That took a weird bounce by Sagan. And the Mentos have their first good chance. Here's Juremchuk, left wing side. He'll wait, he shoots, he scores! Lance Juremchuk from long distance makes it 1-1. Very fortunate bounce inside the PA uh, board, uh, PA zone. A, a weird bounce leads to this chance. Yurenchuk can do this all tournament, throwing it at the net. Probably one that uh, he'd expect to go in. It does go in, but using his speed and shooting past the net. We've seen the last three shifts a real change in the attitude of PA. They now seem to be on their toes. Much better. They score on their seventh shot of the afternoon. Played 15 games this year in the Western Hockey League with the Prince Albert Raiders, and this is his sixth of the tournament this week. He has been their best scorer and comes through, and here they come again. Roberts left wall, shoots, chance, rebound, is there, he scores! Carson Kaye, first point of the event, and the Mentos have their first lead. It's 2-1, Prince Albert. Perfect. Perfect example of Prince Albert hockey. Back check hard. Create a turnover. It's a bit of a bad bounce for the young defenseman. Great. And again, drive the net, shoot for the pad and rebound. There it is for an easy tap. And but this is more what you would become accustomed to seeing from Prince Albert this week. Well, when you look at it, something we haven't seen a lot is Mulpatie allowing a rebound. And that one is right there for the taking and Kaye is able to give the green guys their first lead of the afternoon and bring a little bit of life back in the building. I think Mopati was uh, handcuffed a little bit of that shot, kind of a knuckle puck, he couldn't control that rebound. His defenseman didn't really give him any uh, favors either. Penalty coming up as well. And for the first time in this game with the advantage, we'll see the Mentos skate five on four. Their power play just okay this week. Scoring three times on 23 opportunities, but yesterday in the semifinal, they went three for seven against Okanagan. Their power play runs through their big assistant captain, Morrison. Expect this young man to get a lot of looks from the blue line. He likes to shoot it from the left side, the top, from someone in front. Let's see if he can get set him up here. Here's Parsons, the man you mentioned, long distance there. Morrison will let it go just wide. Stop to it in the near quarter. Gives it back to Parsons. Left side circle. Car guard holding on. Has it along the wall. Good patience right now. Minto's first power play of the day with a 2-1 lead. Seven and a half to play in the opening period. Some miscommunication. And Ingram will set it up back in his own zone. Nice aggressive on the PK by shot to gain, forcing to go down and not let him pass that puck up high to where they want to go. Morrison dances in on the right wing, plays it around the wall. Those goals come 17 seconds apart after Chattagay at the game's opener off the stick of Highland. Half the power play almost over, and to this point, really not a big opportunity to set up and move it around. Highland won the top penalty killer for Chattagay, uses his speed to kind of unsettle. Chris Albert trying to come in his own. Peacock will rip it from behind his net, kept in far side though by Morrison. Here's a chance, Putin shoots, Mopatine's able to get his glove on it. Peacock working against Yuremchek, who's got one of the two goals this afternoon for the Mentos. Yuremchek waiting with it, floats it back to the left point. Reese Kipling has problems with it, he'll just feed it down in behind the goal. Blackier is there, banks it off the back of the net. Great falls down on top of it. Able to get it over to his man, and Highland will shoot it about 180 feet down the ice, right in on Ingram. Head coach Richardson talks about how Crace really upped his defensive part of his game. And you can see it there, taking on three Prince Albert's Mintos and getting the puck out. Yuremchuk has it. Can't get his shot away though. Cut from behind by Sanch. Puck comes out. And it's Reese Kipling. Who may have a chance in the future to walk across the hall and skate for the Raiders, the WHL club. One of the protected players on their list. Reimer and Kipling right now, the two defensemen on the ice teams are back to full strength. Both 0 for 1 on the power play. Sanch loses it, turning it back out ahead as Carguard. Too far though for Durant. Great to Sanch, cuts by Carguard. In across the line, high rising shot. Puck is there and Ingram's able to cover up at the last second. 
2-1, the Prince Albert Mentos. They were able to strike with a couple just 17 seconds apart, and they've got the lead here in Moose Jaw. This is an Avioner. Avioners have the right to fly during peak seasons. The freedom to choose any flight on any airline. The freedom to avoid unnecessary flight connections. Avioners have rights and freedoms that are the envy of the Travel Rewards Card universe. Get the RBC Avion Card and start avioning today. When you combine pro-style sweaters and socks and Hockey Canada approved training, you get a team. McDonald's Atomic Hockey is proud to provide over 33,000 kids with the joy of teamwork. Learn more at hockeycanada.ca slash atomic. One of the most intriguing parts in the city of Moose Jaw is something you don't see above ground, and that would be the tunnels of Moose Jaw as we take a walk inside. Al Capone wasn't there, but there's a lot of talk in this city that he spent a lot of time between Moose Jaw and Chicago. Really neat history. Moose Jaw got a couple uh, mobsters, I guess they were called back then. Muncie. Yeah. The Sioux Line was one of the big things that was looked at. The passage of fortune, the Chinese immigrants making their way in and around the region. Not sure if we can get from Moose Jaw to Chicago now. And time for possibly round two if the Blackhawks can wrap it up against the Blues today. But you never know. Play down in behind the mental goal, sent around by Uremchuk, and they're able to just get it out to center ice with five minutes to play in the first period. Chattagay with the early lead, and just about as you mentioned it, where the Mentos didn't look like themselves, they were able to come back and get a couple of big ones. They sure have, and I think we've seen both teams now settle in to play the game they want to play. A lot of nerves. These are young men, and we saw both teams walking in. To me, they, they looked unsettled, a little nervous, but they're now playing the games we expected them to play, so Game on from this part on, Muncie. Puck on the left wing side, shot in deep. Retreating back for it here is Lezinski. Left wing side, he'll angle it out. And it's Sabrin's puck here for Chattagay. Talk about the comeback as well. 13 to 10 now, the Grenadier out shooting the Mentos P8 in that many moments ago. And all of a sudden now, they've been able to get some pressure around the goalie there. Malpati who's trying to get a little active here and help out his offense. But the play is closer to his net right now than he wants. White in behind the goal, moves it on the left wing side. Here's Wyatt Grant to the line of Lezinski. Cross ice, George just feeds it down, looking for White, was out of his reach again. Payusov is there, number 91 here. Up ahead to Laberge. Laberge will slowly trickle it up. Payusov's going to stay on. The rest of the players went off on a line change. White along the far boards, made the play, looking for Grant. He'll skate it there, tried to get by Belmar, and he will successfully play it back in behind the Quebec net. Three and a half minutes remaining here. Prince Albert in front by a goal. Great to Belmar. Has his man Sagan in full flight. Trying to get around, and he can't run a hit by Brody Reimer. First big physical play we've seen in this afternoon's game from the 16-year-old out of Saskatoon. That's a part of PA's game they want to establish here, David. Young team here for uh, Chateaugay. They got to be physical and kind of push them out of their comfort zone. There he is, Brody Reimer at six feet, 192 pounds, and well, you take this, poor kid. Almost like a forearm shiver to the chest, but that's PA's game, I and mean, we saw them play all week. Very physical hockey, in your face. That's part of the way the identity. Trade for them. Well, and he's just 16 years old, Sagan. Came in here joining the Shattuck Gate Club as a 15-year-old, so he's feeling the brunt of what this level of hockey is all about. Crate in his own zone, making it a move. An assistant captain will airmail it out to the red line. Back in his own zone, Reimer goes far side. It's Kaye with a puck. Kaye shoots, glove save. That one goes in behind the net. Peacock turning with it. Made the play up to Cardinal. Cardinal pressured by Kaye. Here's Durrett. 
As Madarash at the front of the goal and away from play, there's going to be a penalty call. We're going to see a holding minor. And down by one, Chattagay will have an opportunity to tie on their second advantage of the day. Never a good time to take a penalty in the offensive zone, especially when you have a pressure established. Holding in the offensive zone will not be looked upon uh, favorably by his head coach when he gets back in there, assuming they kill his penalty off. Ken Morrison looking on the last time that he saw his club go shorthanded. Chattagay had four shots on net. But the goalie Ingram was able to stand tall and be perfect on that two-minute try. Watch the matchup in front of the team. Gaze Morrison and Doucette, two big men competing for the ice in front of his own. Mentos clearing off the wall and all the way down as Danik Crate will retreat. Draft pick of Victoriaville in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League gets it here to Payusov. Payusov setting up across the mental line. Parsons down in behind his goal. He'll flutter it off to Blackier. And he'll just work it all the way down again. A pretty simple but effective shorthanded effort. Great play by Parsons there. Recognizing he can relieve the pressure by putting the other corner black here. Supporting him. Easy out every time. Just under two minutes to play in the period. Over a minute in the power play. It's LaBerge taking a shot. Picks up his own rebound. Puts it there to the big man and unable to get his stick on it. Justin Doucette had a jump on him. LaBerge in the right wing corner. Held up efficiently. Blackier and Doucette. Blackier goes right underneath him. Morrison has his stick impeded. Fans looking for a penalty. They won't get one. McCulloch, fourth forward on the power play, working at the left point. Set it up to Crate. They'll exchange positions. Crate let it go. It's blocked by Blackier up over the glass and out of play. Down at Crate showing why he likes to shoot the puck. Big shot from the point. One area thing though that uh, Shatchik has to work on, they're being outman. When the puck's in the corner, there's two of them, there's two PA. You need to have three there. If PA's gonna put two, you gotta send three guys in there saying make sure you win those loose puck battles. He was a 30 point man, or just shy of one point, shy of 30 during the regular season. Their offensive catalyst gets a break in the final half minute of the power play. Samson and Cardinal. Work it around, Sabarin's got it midpoint. Left side to the captain. Cardinal back to Samson. Samson walking with it, takes the scenic route. Has it right wing in front, Cardinal fanned on a chance and Ingram made the save. Back to the line, Levec tees it up, that one didn't get through. To the point in Samson, right side to Tayfair. Midpoint to Sabarin. Left wall, Samson to the right wing corner, Tayfair with it once more. Penalty about to expire. The Mentos have killed it as Kaye is out of the box. George backhands it up the wing. And here comes Prince Albert. It'll be just two on two as Kaye will flip it in. And the dying moments here of the period. White's going to try and get one more here, but he doesn't get a lot of help. Doesn't, that's a big kill for PA. Moments of Builder going into the intermission. One more chance here. Sopkowicz on goal. And well, Petit's able to steer it wide. Under 10 to play in the period. 2-1 Prince Albert. Levesque plays it off. Tie fair left wall will get it out. And the first period concludes in Moose Jaw with the Prince Albert Mentos giving up the game's opening goal. Chattagay had the early lead, but right now Prince Albert has the advantage. Lance Juremchuk was the one that was able to get it going. Here for the top team in Saskatchewan to this point. Stop struggling with heavy hoses that are kinked and deliver little or no water. Or worse, break. Introducing the incredible flexible hose. Turn the water on and it expands up to three times its original length. So you can easily guide it anywhere you need without tangling. When you turn the water off, as it drains, the hose retracts back to its original shape. Standard rubber hoses can weigh between 8 and 12 pounds. But a 25-foot flexible hose weighs less than a pound. The flexible hose is so compact and lightweight, a child can manage a 25-foot hose easily. The flexible hose will never kink and is guaranteed to take the mess out of watering your lawn and plants. So washing your windows or spraying off your gutters has never been easier. The flexible hose is made of a tough double wall construction that is designed to bend and stretch but never kink. Flexible hose is designed like a fire hose for speed, 
storage, and strength to last a really long time. Call or visit FlexibleHose.ca to order the incredible Flexible Hose for only $19.99. Call right now and we will include a seven-way adjustable spray nozzle free. You can choose a full action spray, a gentle mist, a powerful jet, a vertical mist, flat spray, a cone spray, or a soaker setting. So stop coiling your hose with bulky devices. Flexible Hose automatically retracts in seconds and weighs less than one pound. In fact, a 25-foot hose easily fits in a small bucket and stores away neatly in a drawer. Flexible Hose saves you precious space on boats and is perfectly portable for RVs. Order today and get the amazing original flexible hose kit including the 25-foot automatic expandable and retractable hose and will include the seven-way adjustable spray nozzle absolutely free. This offer is not available in any store. Order now. Prince Albert Mintos have themselves a 2-1 lead after 20 minutes of play over the Grenadier de Chateaugay in the final game of the 2014 TELUS Cup National Midget AAA Championship. And there's the man in the blue paint, 17-year-old Connor Ingram. Connor, maybe not the start your hockey club wanted getting down, but a much better second half. Your impressions of the first period of this final game? Yeah, it's definitely not how you want to start, but uh, we stayed out of the box there in the second half and got two quick wins and we're right back in this game. We're wondering if you'll start a new trend for goalies across the world doing a first intermission visit with us on national television. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see, I guess. What's this week been like for you and this year? Obviously, you and Lane McCashew have had really impressive numbers in the blue paint. Yeah, it's been exciting. You know, it's fun to play up here, and you can see the fan support we got, and our team knows that if it's me or Lane in the net, they got confidence in us, and we'll give them a chance to win. Appreciate the time. Good luck in the final 40 minutes. Have fun with this. Thank you. Connor Ingram, the starting netminder for the Prince Albert Mentos, and he's been able to make some big saves on the day so far. Contact your TV provider to subscribe to the Movie Network and also get TMN Go, now on Android. Scoring the big goal is easier if you make the right decisions. Water or fuel? Pass or explode up the wing? Deke left or split the D? Short side or top shelf. Gatorade Perform. Fuels better than water. Fuel better, perform better. Are you tired of online dating? Online dating sites can feel like one endless game, filling out profiles and searching through photos. I was tired of dating online, so I called LifeMates to find a real connection. I was also tired of online dating. I'm busy and I don't have time to sort through online profiles. LifeMates met with me in person, I told them what I was looking for, and they handled the rest. LifeMates offers what dating online can't, a personal touch and proven results. Call us or visit us online today. You have nothing to lose and a LifeMate to gain. Still. No. Steel. Style. Sure it is. Steel. <laughs> no matter how you say it, steel makes yard work quick and easy. With blowers starting at $179.95. Grass trimmers $139.95 and chainsaws $199.95. Not at Home Depot, not at Canadian Tire. Visit your local steel dealer for expert advice, on-site service, and Canada's number one selling brand of outdoor power equipment. Find yours at steel.ca. Downtown Moose Jaw, where this would be the third event for Hockey Canada and TSN's coverage of some of the great national events. Mintos lead the Grenadier by a score of 2-1 after 20 minutes of play. The Essel Cup Championship concluded yesterday, and as we see, Team West continues their dominance right now with their fourth title. Team Ontario and Team Quebec will be right behind. With a recap of that, and what we've seen in another Hockey Canada event. Here's Brian Mudrick and Cheryl Pounder. 
Welcome to the Esso Cup in Stony Creek, Ontario, just a few kilometers east of Hamilton. Brian Mudrick, Cheryl Pounder, and what a final we had between Edmonton and Weyburn. You have to feel for the Edmonton Thunder. Every year since the inception of this tournament, it all began in Calgary in 2009, the Thunder have made it here. They've never won a gold medal, and they're going home with silver. Once again, their second silver to go along with three bronze. How did Weyburn, though, get the job done? I mean, Weyburn came in here. They had an incredible year. They had overcome a ton of adversity, but they made it here they had great momentum going and they really believed in each other and really Caitlin Dempsey gets it started and ricochets and Tessa Wilson gets that ricochet able to put it through the neck Kikuchi certainly wanted that one back and they stayed the course Barasa Kikuchi goes down a little bit early and is able to get it over her right shoulder but Edmonton does not give up and Brett Campbell, a defensive forward at that, is able to convert to make it 2-1. to one. So a great game, extremely close, and Jane Kish was also a factor. We have to give Weyburn a lot of credit. This is the first time they've ever been to this tournament. What do they do? Make it all the way to the final. They were the number two seed and beat Edmonton for that. Need great goaltending. She was named the tournament's top goaltender, and she shone in the final. She certainly did. She had a 1.67 goals against average coming in. She had to stand tall. She hugged her post. She had really strong lateral movement. She kicked her right pad out more than once in this game and controlled her rebounds. She corralled them. She steered them to the corner, and she really made a difference. She was an impact player, and the reason why she won player of the game. So certainly a great goaltender with a great future. Absolutely, and now she's off for her CIS career, and her father, the coach, also very proud as well. Well, it's been a great tournament once again. Very exciting to be here at the 2014 ESO Cup. And Weyburn, the Gold Wings are going home with gold. We send it back to you. Inside Mosaic Place in Moose Chop, the Grenadier outshoot the Mintos by a margin of 15 to 12, but it's Prince Albert who has themselves a one goal lead thanks to two goals, 17 seconds apart. Jason Strudwick will join us on the other side of the break to take a look back at 20 minutes of play. Hi, Mark Gill here with the Chop Magic. You're gonna love the way this beauty can chop, mince, slice, and dice in just seconds. Chopping vegetables the old way takes forever. It's tough work and such a mess. Well, not with Chop Magic. Go ahead, chop a whole onion in one second. No odor and no tears. Julienne pepper, squash, and zucchini in just three seconds. That's a stir fry that makes other choppers cry. It's even strong enough to go through solid sweet potatoes, like a warm knife through butter, yet easily chops delicate tomatoes to perfection. Now make fresh egg salad, healthy coleslaw, or delicious party dips in no time. The secret? 12 ultra-sharp stainless steel precision blades that guarantee uniform results every time. It's so fast and easy, you can chop all the meats, cheeses, and fixins for a super-sized salad bar in a fraction of the time. Why hassle with a knife and messy cutting board? Chop Magic's catch container keeps your kitchen clean and doubles as a six-cup mixing and measuring container. Snap on the dicing blade and instantly prepare fresh fruit salads, zesty salsa, or a mountain of garlic without it sticking to your hands. And look, everything stores inside, which makes it the ultimate space saver. Plus, it's all dishwasher safe. Now, during this exclusive TV-only offer, you can get Chop Magic for just $29.95. Call now, and as a bonus, we'll send you two perfect tortilla pans with recipe books so you can shape, bake, and create delicious tortilla bowls. Use Chop Magic to load them up with all your favorite toppings, free. But I'm not stopping there. Call or click now and get a second Chop Magic free. Just pay separate shipping and handling. Yup, you get it all. Two Chop Magics and two perfect tortilla pans. A whopping $50 value, all yours for just $29.95. Don't delay, order today. To order Chop Magic, please call 1-800-851-6706 or order online at chopmagic.ca. They'll be happy so far today, a three-hour trip down the highway and not a bad Sunday afternoon with the Prince Albert Mentos in front by one, despite getting down one goal early to the Grenadier. Brian Munns, Jason Strudwick back with you inside Mosaic Place. And Jason, your impressions on that first period in which, as we talk about, Chattagay gets the lead. Prince Albert, though, with the advantage right now through 20. 
I thought we saw a lot of nerves from Prince Albert to start. They were unsure, uh, on their heels. They weren't doing what we've seen them do so often, which is be on their toes, physical, direct lines to the net. That's what makes them so good. And they finally found that about eight minutes into the game. You look at the type of goals they score here to now. On their toes, aggressively in straight line. They're not a team that's going to wow you with a lot of passing, crisscross plays. But they're just going to attack, attack, and shoot. A nice shot through the defense in there by your Amtrak. That's a, that's a goal scorer's goal. You're, you're not going to see a guy with uh, hands like myself score a goal like that ever. 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 And let's practice. And let's remember these kids are 16 years old. Very talented for 16. There's no doubt about it. And uh, the second goal, a bit of a bad bounce here by Craig. The puck gets away from him. Again, same thing, straight lines, attacking it. That's what Morrison, the head coach of PA, talked about. We play a structured game, a simple game, predictable, and that was protects you. When you're struggling, when you're not unsure of yourself, you stay within your system, you'll be rewarded like they did. 17 seconds, two goals. And speaking of the system, that's one thing that the Mintos have done so well this week. The Grenadier, though, known more as an offensive team. Who's going to have the advantage here? Do you see any type of play starting to lean either way as that period went on? I think we're seeing both teams now play the way they want. You're going to see the Chateau Gay try to pick apart the neutral zone, and they actually did a good job making passes through the defense of PA. PA, again, is going to keep going forward. It's going to be it's an interesting matchup. Uh, it's hard to predict what's going to happen going forward. I think ultimately it's a team who can play their system the best and force their will on the other team that will come out on top. 40 minutes to play here at Mosaic Place in Moose Jaw as we get ready for the last two periods of the 2014 TELUS Cup National Midget AAA Championship. Hi, Mark Gill here with the Chop Magic. You're going to love the way this beauty can chop, mince, slice, and dice in just seconds. Chopping vegetables the old way takes forever. It's tough work and such a mess. Well, not with Chop Magic. Go ahead. Chop a whole onion in one second. No odor and no tears. Julienne pepper, squash, and zucchini in just three seconds. That's a stir fry that makes other choppers cry. It's even strong enough to go through solid sweet potatoes, like a warm knife through butter, yet easily chops delicate tomatoes to perfection. Now make fresh egg salad, healthy coleslaw, or delicious party dips in no time. The secret? 12 ultra-sharp stainless steel precision blades that guarantee uniform results every time. It's so fast and easy, you can chop all the meats, cheeses, and fixins for a super-sized salad bar in a fraction of the time. Why hassle with a knife and messy cutting board? Chop Magic's catch container keeps your kitchen clean and doubles as a six-cup mixing and measuring container. Snap on the dicing blade and instantly prepare fresh fruit salads, zesty salsa, or a mountain of garlic without it sticking to your hands. And look, everything stores inside, which makes it the ultimate space saver. Plus, it's all dishwasher safe. Now, during this exclusive TV-only offer, you can get Chop Magic for just $29.95. Call now, and as a bonus, we'll send you two perfect tortilla pans with recipe books so you can shape, bake, and create delicious tortilla bowls. Use Chop Magic to load them up with all your favorite toppings, free. But I'm not stopping there. Call or click now and get a second Chop Magic free. Just pay separate shipping and handling. Yup, you get it all. Two Chop Magics and two perfect tortilla pans. A whopping $50 value, all yours for just $29.95. Don't delay, order today. To order Chop Magic, please call 1-800-851-6706 or order online at chopmagic.ca. You are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's naturally sweetened with 30% less sugar. Great cola taste. With 30% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but this is the most impressive thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are gonna. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna. Introducing Pepsi Next. Naturally sweetened with 30% less sugar versus the leading regular cola. Next. Taste it to believe it. A long sign, a long way from this one being over today. As we take a look at what we've seen so far in the TELUS Cup Final, Highland getting the game's opening goal. It was all Shattagay early, and then the last half of the period was something that Prince Albert Minto fans will be impressed with so far. Uremchuk, his sixth. He's been deadly so far in the event to this point. And we'll find out which trend will continue on to the second period. As the Mintos look for win number three in this tournament, Shattagay looks for win number one. 
Danik Crate will take it back in behind his goal. Play it off to Peacock, who gets hit hard. Sopkowicz laid the body on him in the left wing corner, but it's a steal, and Levesque's got room. Far wing, right in on net, and the man we heard from after 20 minutes, not rattled at all by the little interview. No, he looked great in the interview, and he's been looking good through the first uh, 20 minutes of the game. Good hit in the offensive zone that leads to a, uh, a two-on-one chance. Jacob, though, I like about him is he comes out, he's up outside the blue paint to make that save. He, he looks very comfortable and comfortable in the pipe. We had an opportunity to talk to him yesterday after the semifinal, and we could have went for supper oh. with him, boy. He's got stories upon stories, and he's still just 17 years young. I really like him. I think, though, if I'm uh, Chateau Gay, i got to find a way to get to him or get him on a little bit. We talked to their coach, Richardson. He said what he tells his guys is go swimming in his pool. Go into the blue area of the paint where, where it's uncomfortable for the goalies. I'm fully confident he said that to them after the first one. Cardinal with it on the far side. Joined out there by Levesque and McCullough. That's the top line here for Chattagay. Bouncing puck between the circles. Cleared out of the danger zone by George. And he's got it now to Cargar to the middle and shot in by Sopkowitz. Sabarin down and behind his goal. He'll set things up. Mentos being outshot by four, but they've got a one-goal lead. Ty Fair plays it out of the reach of McCullough. Morrison safely over to Blackier. Blackier poke check there on the four check by Payusai. Booten weaving his way. There he goes by two, but he had it come off his stick, and Ty Fair plays it off the glass, but Yaremchuk, who's got one of the goals today, is causing problems for him right now. John Sebastian Tyfair, far wing, Sabarin on the left wall. McCullough's there. Can he get around Morrison? No, he can't, but he'll keep the puck, and he'll hold up with Morrison to the side of the goal. Take a second player in to get it free, and that was Yeremchek batting it out to the middle. Played in by Sabarin as most of the play has been inside the Prince Albert zone early. Basically, same as the first. There's a lot of pressure on him early. Here's a chance. McCullough, right wing, waiting, fires, and the glove saved. Ingram stayed right there as Brandon McCullough was left all alone in front. I think McCulloch was surprised how much time he had here. He basically had a breakaway for four or five seconds. He doesn't move his feet, and when you get a chance like that, you want to try to make the goalie move. He's standing here. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's unsure of what to do. He takes a shot, and Ingram again outside the blue paint. Uh, easy save for the uh, young net miner. 54 points on the season for McCullough. Kreit, hit in front of the Prince Albert bench, now skating over to the Sanch. He'll get by Reimer, and the blocker is saved by Ingram. Doucette, along the wall to Sanch, back to the blue line. Reversing now as the Mentos come out. Here's Reimer, the defenseman, across the blue line. Shot missed low to the glove side, taken by White. He'll center it on the doorstep, and Samson will move it free. Just, here comes Chattagay, left wing to Doucette. Played around the boards, back and behind the Fritz Albert net. Ingram loses it. Sanch down to Doucette. Two big players in along the goal line area. Sanch, the extra forward, comes off to Gramble instead, and the Mitzels will get it out to the red line as we've played close to three minutes of the second period, where Prince Albert has a one-goal lead. Degonje, poke check free there by Kipling. Set to the line, not out. Samson's wrist shot, blocked it away by Ingram. Safely off the boards, Kipling will get it down, and this will be an icing call against the Mentos and an offensive zone face-off here for Chattagay. As we watch this team, Chattagay, play uh, this weekend, I've been really impressed with the young play of a young man named Laberge, Patrick Laberge, Pascal Laberge, number 19, young player, expected to be a top pick in the queue this year. Great speed, great speed. Hasn't had a chance to use it that much today, but don't worry, it's there. We'll see him before this night is over. 43 points in 40 games during the regular campaign as the puck is cleared out of play. Crate got dumped in the neutral zone by Sabarin out of the eyes of everybody except for one linesman who was able to get back and make sure nothing transpired. But boy, this kid's the real deal, isn't he? There's a lot of hype right now, and Bruce Richardson telling us yesterday that this is his guy. Yeah, absolutely. He really likes this young man. And he loves the speed he uses on his attack. When he gets that puck, he'll drive the puck wide. He's a big a big man at just uh, 15, 16 years old, but a very talented player. We'll be hearing his name again 
as he gets older. Your M check with his shot on goal. Both the team made the save. Your M check can't get a chance on his rebound as Levesque will move in behind his goal. Left wing pass now to Highland who had the game's opener for Chattagay. Coming in is Cardinal. Cardinal on the left wing. Pushed along the perimeter and the puck goes to Lazinski in behind the net. Kaye for it. Highland will work it free to the blue line and Sabrin. Left wall to tie fair. A long attempt. Misses near wing. Sabrin able to keep it in. Look at check there from Kaye. Highland to help out. Looking for Levesque in behind the goal. Bodied there by George. Lazinski left wing. Robertson Highlander there. The third player digs it out. That's Matarash. Lazinski on the stick check. will just clear it down. And this should be another icing call. And it will be. Adventure is their call. Crab is their trade. And a $100 million payload is up for grabs again. The Emmy Award winning series, Deadliest Catch, kicks off its new season Tuesday night, 10 Eastern, only on Discovery. Chris Albert's very comfortable with icing down the puck. They have very good centermen. They ice the puck down to relieve pressure. Alexander Payusov in the offensive zone can't find it. Sopkowicz is there. Morrison knocked down his man, LaBerge, in behind play. And here come the Mentos. Sopkowicz will backhand it in behind the goal. Montpetit will shovel it over direct on top of it here. Mentos in their green road uniforms. They are the top seed in this event, going 3-0 and 2 in round robin play. And Montpetit will smother it despite the fact the puck will trickle out. Play bone down by the referee now as the Mentos have only had 13 shots on them here. They've got two, but not a lot lately. He looks a little more confident in that in the second period. I like what I'm seeing from him physically, body language way. But this is how uh, Prince Howard's going to have success. They have to get that puck deep, and they're a team that isn't necessarily going to carry it over the blue line. What they're doing is they're going to dump it in and then create cycles and jam the net. Here you see three Mentos pounding away at the net. A bigger team, they have to use their size to establish uh, you know, chances in the offensive zone. Dakota Booten along the wall, feeding it back to the blue line. Reimer left side. Kipling will shoot. That one didn't get through. Blocked by Tyfer. Second chance does. Montpetit will steer it in the corner. Blackier held up there by Sabarin. Worked out by Yeremchuk. Samson will make the play and he'll flip it off. And out to the red line before it's played. Back ahead. And a hard hit by Reimer of Doucette. Haven't seen much yet from Justin Doucette in that regard. It's six foot four. 215 pounds, that young man wearing number 98. He'll go in on the attack. He'll hang on to it, but that's going to be play blown down. And we'll have a stoppage and play and a face-off in front of the Chattagay bench. Well, there's a look at the list. The first rounders in the National Hockey League that have been part of this event. So many great names, really. Where do you start? Obviously, 87 at top is the one that so many people are excited about here lately, but there's a name too there by Morgan Riley that called this building home last year. Now a great success for the Maple Leafs. Great skater. Yep. Here's a chance they score. Cardinal tied it right off the draw. Puck was in front, he slides it home, and it's a brand new game, 2-2. See the quickness here. A shot to Gay, using it to their advantage. Quick face off win, nice little play behind the back. Driving the net, the captain Cardinal gets lost a little bit in that area, finds the rebound, tucks it in. This is a quickness. I think this is one of the advantages that Chateau Gay has. They are quicker than Prince Albert. During the TELUS Cup, Cardinal now leading Chateau Gay with five goals. Leads them with the captain C. And as we get a good look at him there, an 18 year old out of Mercier, Quebec, has a huge goal for his hockey club on the 20th shot towards Ingram. Peacock will play it back in. Shots are actually now 20 to 14 for the Grenadier. Wyatt Gratt, fan on his attempted clear. Play stays on side. White's got it down on the left wing. Gramble. Helping out. He's got it in behind the goal. Gramble stick check by Crate. Play out in front dangerously there, and Malpatine is going to smother it quickly and not allow anything to happen there dangerously, as you talked about in the swimming pool with Luce Richardson earlier on today. 2 2 the score. 
Chattagay with a goal here in the second period. Long way to go and an interesting finish. Best results. Many studies prove a serving of chocolate milk within 30 minutes of working out delivers an ideal mix of fluids to rehydrate, carbs to refuel, and protein to recharge your body the wholesome way. Chocolate milk, the original recovery drink. Well, it was a fun Saturday night for everybody inside Mosaic Place. Chad Brownlee. Former Canuck draft pick, performing at the Curling Club. Sixth round pick in Vancouver, played for the Vernon Vipers in the BC Hockey League. And of course the Vipers are hosting the RBC Cup National Junior A Championship, May 10th to 18th. Chad telling us yesterday he'll be part of that and he's really looking forward to having everybody come to his place to watch a little hockey. Some guys have all the luck. Big, good looking guy, can play the guitar and sing. <laughs> Muzzy, we, we missed out. Well, you played hockey. That leaves me in a heap of trouble. Well, I can't sing. Bouncing puck and neutral ice. Mentos have given up a goal this period. Highland will get it off the left wall. Broke it up. Slowed down here. Matarash gave it to the wrong guy. That's Lovec. The 17-year-old moving it in from center ice. Glove down. Ingram will play it off there for his defenseman. Seven and a half minutes into the second period. Chattagay with one goal this period, making it a 2-2 hockey game. They struck first, and then the Mentos scored 17 seconds apart. Kaye, who had the 2-1 goal, moves it down into Chattagay ice, and Tyfair will retreat back in behind his own net. I really like this by uh, Bruce Richardson, head coach of Chattagay, going with a line that he feels will generate a lot of momentum. That's the, the, the line of Cardinal, Levesque, and Highland. They're making things happen, continue to play them, especially come out of a break. Matarash gets it just inside the line, no further though, sent right back out. Bouncing puck, George is there and he'll work it back down as Tyfer will take it in his own end, off to his defense partner, Danik Crate. These are the top two for Chattagay. Crate moving his way up in across the Minto line. Had some time, fired up high, blocker side, and Ingram's able to knock that one down with his own rebound. Puck didn't work out. Now spinning a shot is Greer wide of the goal. Morrison playing it to Sobkowicz. Here's a turnover. Sanch dances, can't pull the trigger. Waiting. Greer shoots in front, and the puck just goes wide as Morrison was able to help out his netminder. Yeah, that's nice to have that block there. And he, he blocks it. He doesn't panic, wondering where the puck is. He stays there, stays under control until his teammate can come take the puck away. So Sanch turns it over. Cargard will keep the puck down inside the zone. Waiting in behind his net, just flipping it off the left wing side is Degonier. Fed the rest of the way down by Balmar. Bouncing puck. And Ingram had to be aware of that one. Got it off for Bhutan. Skating in now is Yaremchuk. 15 games in the Western Hockey League this year. Made the play in front. Yaremchuk does, and Bhutan gets turned away by Mol Petit right on the doorstep. Reimer keeping play inside the Chattagay zone, and play is now stopped on a delayed offside. Looking back at the tying goal for Chattagay. Again, the quickness for Chattagay is very obvious here. PA's a little bit slow to respond, maybe not quite ready. Every draw is important in every game, especially in a championship game. You have to be ready all the time. Cardinal lives. He's there. Johnny on the spot tucks it in. And the defenseman, actually, as we have the opportunity to hear more about it from behind the scenes, Tyler Hyland gets the second goal of the afternoon for him, which gives him four in this TELUS Cup National Midget AAA Championship. So the 16-year-old who had seven points to lead his club this week is able to get eight and nine so far. 
LaBerge will just one-hand it off. Boutin falls down, hooked, and LaBerge is going to get a penalty. And the Mentals will have their second power play of the afternoon. Offensive zone penalty. My least favorite penalty of all. Really nothing happening here. Gets a six caught in between the legs. Goes down. He does get the puck, but he gets two minutes. This is a big two minutes here for, for, for Prince Albert. Absolutely. They, they've got to get some momentum going. A, a goal obviously would be nice, but they, they're kind of on their heels. I think shadowgate has been bringing the game to them the first nine minutes of this period. Can they regain some momentum by having some good offensive zone time and you know, putting Chateaugay on their heels now. Lock Morrison, who's been big on their power play, gives it off right side. Direct can't find it, and it's cleared down by Ty Fair with Parsons going back for it. First power play opportunity of the game for the Mentos resulted in nothing. We'll see what this one will do. Look for Tourette to try to find Morrison high in the slot. Cargard takes it down behind the Chateaugay goal. Plays it off here to Sobkowicz, the captain. Take it away. Ty Fair is there. Ian Saber in the defense pairing right now, causing some problems with the Mentos. Cargard to Sobkowicz. Sobkowicz will take a look, feed the blue line. Morrison calls for it. He's got it. A wrist shot. A chance on the rebound. And Sobkowicz didn't get it there as Highland will make the play. Sobkowicz back with it here. Prince Albert power play. Morrison to Parsons. Left wall. Cargard in front. Missing on the one-timer is Sobkowicz. Highland and Cardinal, the penalty killers, trying to keep the Mentos from getting a lane in front. Morrison's got it now for Prince Albert. Backhands it to the blue line and Durrett. Durrett shot through a maze. Malpetit's able to get a piece of it. Sopkwich on the left wing, down and behind the Chattagay goal. Durrett's been out there a long time. He's the one down on a knee, slow to get up. Sabrin effectively killing off some time right now. He's got it in escape in the corner there. Finally, the PA, another PA player comes in. You can't be outnumbered when you're on the power play. It just doesn't work that way. Half minute remaining in the second chance of the afternoon. Minto's trying to get their lead back in this 2-2 game. Tyfair's got other ideas, though, as he'll play it high off the glass and back into Prince Albert territory. Prince Albert's too tired. They're too long to shift. 45 seconds a minute in the power play. Get out. Your M check couldn't get it to Blackie, who got back in behind the defense. Buck stolen away at center. Morrison in front of the timekeeper. LaBerge comes out. And both teams are now 0 for 2 on the power play today. Earlier on when these teams skated to a 1-1 draw on Tuesday in round robin play, the two clubs were respectively 1 for 6. So not much change in that regard. LaBerge, who is free, will try and turn it up here. Left wing to McCulloch. McCulloch to the blue line. As Payusov, he'll cut in. Glove saved by Ingram as he's able to flash the leather on that one. And Blackier will just move it down the ice. It will not obviously go far enough as Peacock will find it. For Payusov, deflected in deep. And Payusov's going to return back to Crate. Crate with a puck over everybody's head. Played by Reimer. Reimer loses it. Grant, can he help out? No, he can't. Payusov checked by Gramble and Kipling as the Mintos stand their own blue line. Payusov, left wing now to McCullough. McCullough waiting with a puck. Holding on, left wing, hit a mental stick. Kept in by Crate. Best shift of the game so far for Payusov. A guy who was great for them in the playoffs out in Quebec. They need him to be aggressive and to want that puck and make plays. A skilled player, they need to come up big for them this team. 12 goals in the playoffs to lead his club and 26 points. Kipling back in behind his goal. On the left wall now, moved out by Reimer, and the puck will go down. There's a foot race for it here. Can White get there quick enough? Yes, he does. Play will continue on. Peacock locking him up. Grambo goes in, too. Grambo's got it now. Kaye waiting on the doorstep. Grambo in behind the goal. Back to the blue line instead. Brax George gives it off. A long chance. And the play was made by Craig, who blew a tire on the far wing. Kaye to the point area. Mintos just keep it in. That's Lazinski to White. White holding on. White shooting, and Mopetit down is able to make the save on that far post. 2-2 Two -two the score. The Grenadiers have the lone goal this period. We'll be back to Moose Jaw momentarily. 
Up north, Canadians like Silverado's fuel-efficient V8, which beats Ford's EcoBoost V6. On the coasts, we enjoy that it offers the best available towing in its class. In the Rockies, we appreciate the warranty. 60,000 kilometers more than Ford and Ram. In cottage country, we love the easy parking. The all-new Chevy Silverado, true north strong. Truck month has been extended. Get lease and finance rates as low as 0% and upgrade to a true north edition at no extra charge. I guess, but it's not Proposal of the Year. TSN Play of the Year, presented by Klondike. Nothing is bigger. Join the team and play on the first line. Volunteer for the 2015 IIHF World Junior Championship coming to Montreal and Toronto. Visit HockeyCanada.ca slash 2015 Juniors for more details. Inside Mosaic Place, the TELUS Cup National Midget AAA Championship, 2-2 the score, and 0 for 2, both teams are on the power play as well. Surprising, both teams have been quite good on the power play, but an area here I'm seeing a, a reoccurring theme for Shadow Gaze, perhaps a, a lack of uh, attentiveness, a lack of detail for their D-men. Too often they're waiting to react to what happens around them instead of engaging the PA4s and eliminating them as a, as a chance to ch get a rebound. They haven't been burned by that yet, but expect a goal at some point. They don't start being a little more aggressive in front of their own net. And 95, Sabrin was the one that had to make that sliding play, as you allude to. And speaking of power plays, penalty kills, we're going to see another opportunity here. We've got a holding minor with just over seven minutes remaining in the second period. Ken Morrison right now, the head coach of the Mentos, looking on, and he's going to see his club go a man down, and we'll see what Chattagay can do at the other end of the ice. You take your hand off uh, your stick and put it on another man, that's a penalty. Chattagay now, again, you got Crate, the big shot from the from the top, and look for Payasov. He's, he's had more jump his last shift. Let's see if he can continue that here and, and, and make a difference for his yep. team. Crate in the offensive zone, left wing side. LaBerge tried to play it in front, bouncing puck. They can't get it to Doucette, who's the man they want on the doorstep. That's big number 98. LaBerge on the left wing to the midpoint. Danik Crate, he's the one that makes their power play go from that blue line area. He'll wait with it right now. Right wing, McCulloch over to LaBerge. Back to Crate, and he missed. Shadow has got four one-timers set up out there. PA's got to be very sharp and stay in the lanes. Great. Had his shot go off of Carguard. McCulloch down into the corner. Doucette will try and give the puck back to the line and successfully does. Payusov. Russian heritage, but born in Canada. Moves the puck towards the net, and Ingram's able to get that right pad down. One of the better saves he's made on the afternoon. Timely save. It's not about how many minutes he makes. It's about the timely ones. That's a big save right there for PA. Doucette back in over the line to LaBerge. Walking in. He fanned on his shot. And this allows the mental penalty killers. Jared Blackier to clear it down. And there's a foot race for it now. Robert trying to track it down there against Crate. 35 seconds remaining in the power play for Shattagay. They've had six power play shots on the afternoon. They're 0 for 2 to this point. This year for Shadow Gay will be a little bit more uh, north-south pounding at the net, not so uh, fancy through the box. Justin Samson lets it go. Right pad save again by Ingram. Handled now by Levesque. Minor changes. McCullough goes off, and Ty Fair comes out for Shadow Gay. Samson, backdoor opportunity out of the reach of Levesque. Minor penalty over to Kaye in just a moment. Can they get one more attack? Five on four, no. And Blackier will bobble his man out. Chattagay still with a puck right now here for the Quebec champions. Nothing determined yet, not a big surprise based on the fact that there were five ties during round robin play this week that evened a TELUS Cup tournament record. Bruce Richardson uh, probably happy with the, the power play. Could have had a goal. Very nice save here by uh, Ingram. Look how he follows the puck. He's, he's attentive. He knows where it is. His rebound control has been good today. And he's been following the play very well. Sanch plays it along the left wing. 
Degonye along the left wall into the corner in Greer. Highland with two goals on the day. That's number 18 for Shattagay. Try to play it off the wall, but keep it in the offensive zone. Lazinski's going to reverse it back. And this will give a chance for Crate to come in, and George will step his shoulder into him. Been very impressed with the physical play of Shattagay today. They're matching what Prince Albert's trying to do. And that might have been the big question coming into this game is if they would be able to do that because when we talked to the other coaches throughout the week and especially the Okanagan crew after their semifinal loss yesterday, it was the technical game and everything that Ken Morrison has talked about, his players just seem to do like robots. Very well disciplined uh, team, very well coached. After Shattergate, you look at their game, they're, they're definitely love to attack on the rush. But they're matching the physical play, and, and they're a younger team. They're about five, seventeen-year-olds to start the season. In Quebec, so much younger than Prince Albert, but a nice, nice work of, of matching Prince Albert. McCulloch has his shot go up over the glass and out of play. We remain two-two. Grenadier out shooting the Mintos, twenty-eight, eighteen. This is the Telus Cup. I've got someone who understands my sensitive side and a razor that understands my sensitive skin. New Venus Embrace Sensitive. More than a strip. An entire ribbon of gliding gels surround five comfort-coated blades for less irritation. Venus Embrace Sensitive. A perfect match for sensitive skin. Yes! Woo! Say yes! Yes! That is so romantic! I guess. But it's not Proposal of the Year. TSN Play of the Year, presented by Klondike. Nothing is bigger. Up here, only Chevy Silverado has a 160,000-kilometer warranty. 60,000 more than the competition. That's 10 trips from coast to coast. Because if you're going to talk tough, or say you've got guts, you should back it up with the best coverage in Canada. And right now, get lease and finance rates as low as 0%. The 2014 North American Truck of the Year. The all-new Chevy Silverado. True North Strong. There he is, the Moose. The Moose of Moose Jaw. And the Telus Cup safely protected by the big man. And as we take a look at the history right now as to what it takes for these teams to get here and play today, 144 from across the nation. Amazing, amazing to win this uh, championship. Both teams should be very proud of themselves, no matter the outcome, but I'll tell you what, the winner will feel just a little bit better. 2-2 the score, three and a half to play in the period. Yeremchek, one of the goal scorers today, able to win the draw away from Laberge. They use soft on net, right into the logo, and no problem again for Connor Ingram. Connor Ingram right now, when you look at it, the numbers for him during the round robin this week, 2-0-1, a 1.67 goals against average, 948 save percentage, and those weren't even the best stats. His buddy McCashew stopped 82 of 83, but Ingram has been the player that Ken Morrison has gone with the entire season, and he does here in the semifinal and the final today. Booten blows a tire there against Creighton. Tuck around the wall, McCulloch will backhand it out. Errantly, Morrison shot, went off, and that one hurts Saverin. Blackier to Yeremchuk. Back to Morrison, fires again off a of body. Payusov and Saverin both not quite 100% as the Mintos have them in their own defensive zone right now. Blackier battling hard. Payusov checked by Boutin. To the left wing, Morrison, high riser, blockered away by Montpetit. Out ahead to center ice now, it's McCulloch. Could this be a two-on-one? Going to the goal, there's gonna be a penalty. Morrison hooked up his man. It would have been a scoring chance, but LeBerge was interfered with by number eight. Morrison had to take this penalty. We've got uh, LeBerge, Pascal LeBerge, driving to the net. He's a guy that can make a difference. With the puck on his stick, so he had to take the hook there. It would have been a breakaway. Not a good time to take a penalty, but this is also one of your premier penalty killers, Morrison, for Prince Albert. So look for some of his teammates to step up and help him out here. Crucial with two minutes to go in the period. They go into this break tied. Grenadier have had nine shots on goal, ineffective in their last three power plays. They scored seven during the round robin. 
Saverin setting up in the offensive zone, five on four. Here they are, Samson playing it now. It's Cardinal, their captain. Sam Soto on the wing. Puck comes off his stick. Kipling just dislodged it long enough. He sure did. And interesting, the second unit for Chateauguay has no net front presence. Two sets on the first power play right in front. This one, though, they elect to change it up and have a higher, a higher tip between the hash marks. Keegan Cargard causing some issue right now on this Grenadier power play. Sam Soto will just rim it around. Ingram had it going behind his net. Kipling ran into Ty Fair. Cardinal off the wall. Ty Fair with it again to the point area. And Levesque. Levesque given some room. Let a slap shot go. That one just hit the toe of the goalie. He didn't make the save, but he got fortunate. <laughs> Very lucky there. we got to be good to be lucky, don't you, Munzee? It'll count as a save. <laughs> and in the summer, he may tell his friends how big it was. But <laughs> shorthanded right now, his club able to avoid a bullet here in the final minute of this power play chance for the Grenadier. Lovec dancing his way out. Gets by Roberts. In around Black here. Drop pass for Cardinal. 75 seconds remaining here in the second period of a 2 2 game. Craig from the midpoint lets it go. That was blocked by Black here. Samson gives it right back to Craig. Samson to the puck. Down below the goal line is Cardinal. Cardinal to the point. Craig winds it up. Blocked in front by Lazinski. Ty Fair and Cardinal are there. Lazinski. The lone penalty killer in the corner is the rest of the Mentos. Watch the front of the house. Levesque. Power play is just about over. Levesque still with it right now. To the corner in Cardinal. Has Samson back door batted free. Out of the penalty box is Morrison. And Chateauguay is now 0 for 4 in this 2-2 hockey game with less than 30 to go. Samson skating in over the blue line. He's got speed. Samson can't get around his man, though. Efficient play by Brax George. Really nice take out there. Textbook at defense. White bounces it down the ice. Puck in behind the Chateauguay goal. Kaye, who's got a marker in the contest so far, will get it to Grant. Back down to Kaye. Checked by Peacock. Kaye still with it. Needs to hurry. Scores! He does! A backhand with less than two seconds to go. The Mentos have their lead back. It's 3-2, Prince Albert. Two seconds left. That can really take an error. A bunch of error out of the team sales. He had the go-ahead goal, making it 2-1. 17 seconds after the goal by Uremchuk, and they say play to the buzzer. This is Minto's hockey. You know, they, they manufacture something out of really nothing by their great cycle. Put it on that really a nothing play. Unfortunately, goes off of crates, skate, handcuffs from Petit. We got a 3-2 game going to the third here. A cosmetic at face-off. All complete, no real scoring chance. Wow, what a play. He had not picked up a point during round robin this week. Scores two goals here, and it's a perfect time for him. Carson Kaye. Three-two. The Prince Albert Mentos in front, despite the fact they're being outshot 30-20. Obviously, Connor Ingram has been good defensively. Mentos have the offense. Have you ever looked for a hotel online? Did you notice that there's so many prices out there for the exact same room? Trivago searches hundreds of websites at the same time and shows you the most popular hotels. You can then easily compare all the hotels that meet your search criteria and find the room that is ideal for you. Remember, Trivago shows you all the different prices for the exact same room. That's how you can be sure that you find the ideal hotel for the best price. Hotel Trivago. Canadian Tire is serious about grilling. That's why we're at Harbor 60, one of Canada's finest steakhouses, testing the new Cuisinart Ceramic 900 Barbecue. Because when you've got this $1,000 steak on the menu, if it's not cooked right, someone's losing their job. The ceramic heat technology means even heat every time. So, Chef Darren? Perfect, medium rare. I don't have to pay for this, right? If you want to see more testing, visit us online. A man's body isn't flat, it's terrain. 
Rugged and uneven, new Gillette Body is our first razor built for male terrain. With a rounded head for the tricky spots, three lubricating strips for more glide, and an anti-slip grip for ultimate control. It's built to take you where you want to go, confidently and comfortably. New Gillette Body, only from Gillette. And for an even more comfortable shave, try the full lineup of Gillette Body products. Gillette, the best a man can get. People say that online dating is a numbers game, but that's a lot of time and energy spent on people I'm not interested in. There's a better option, and it's called LifeMates. The relationship consultants at LifeMates met with me in person and got to know me. LifeMates personal touch really made the difference. I told them what I was looking for and they handled the rest. And Lisa and I have been together ever since. Forget online dating. LifeMates put the odds back in my favor. LifeMates, right time, right place, right person. The Grenadier de Chateaugay have outshot the Prince Albert Mintos by 10, but they trail by a single goal after 40 minutes of play. The late marker by Carson Calle is the difference. Two assists on the day so far for the captain and Martin Olivier Cardinal, kind enough to join us inside the locker room. Martin, thanks for doing this. Your impressions of the way your team's been able to play on the biggest game of the season for your team so far? I think uh, we had a rough start, but we have a really character team, so we came back in the game, and that was a lucky bounce for them after, so they, they took the lead, but we're going to come back uh, strong in the third. Your team played a very impressive game during the round, Robin. Have you been able to get most of that game in the final against PA so far here? Yeah, it's, uh, we have a speed and skill team, so we're going we're gonna to win that game. Nine points in the event for you to this point. Congratulations on that. Thanks Thank you. for your time. Good luck in the final 20. Thank you. The captain, Martin Olivier Cardinal of Chateaugay. His club trailing by one with 20 minutes remaining in Moose Jaw. Hey, lady. Want a quickie? What? I'd like a quickie. I got what you need. New Quickie from Canada Green. You're going to have a new lawn in just a few days. Just use Quickie Coated Grass Seed on your lawn. With our special Smart Coat technology, you'll get quicker growth and more water absorption than other leading brands. And with Quickie Lawn Fertilizer and Quickie Patch, you'll have a perfect lawn in no time. Hey, looking good. Look, honey, that's the guy who gave me the Quickie. <laughs> get your Quickie today. Just ask for it by name, Quickie Grass from Canada Green. The Canadian Tire sets the exclusive Continental True Contact. It's our best performing tire in wet conditions, and they're on that car below. Yeah! Let's do this! Let's have my job! <laughs> For more tire tests and results, visit us online. Okay, take me home. Canada Drives understands that not everyone has perfect credit, and that's okay. So when you need help getting the car, truck, SUV, or minivan that you need, you'll find it at getdriving.ca. The application process is quick, free, easy, and no obligation, with zero down options. Whether it's bad credit or no credit, we'll help find the right vehicle for you at a payment you can afford. Apply online at getdriving.ca or dial 1-855-370-7055 and get driving today. Enter promo code TSN. You can be strong, you can be smooth, or you can be both. Platinum, a premium 6% beer with a smooth finish. KFC presents a new boss in town. KFC's new Big Boss, two stories of hand-breaded seasoned chicken because fresh tastes best. One of Canada's best tasting sandwiches. So good. Prince Albert Minto fans enjoying what they've seen to this point. They've got themselves a one goal lead in this 2014 National Championship. TELUS Cup is 20 minutes away from being handed out inside Mosaic Place. The Mintos have been able to win in 06 07. Province of Saskatchewan has been very impressive, actually, when you look at overall what they've been able to do, winning half in the last decade of the available events that Hockey Canada has put on at the midget AAA level. Team Saskatchewan, wherever it may be across the province, has enjoyed success, and nobody enjoys success more than the pride and joy of Porcupine Plain. Kelly Chase may argue that he's the man, but 
Darren Detition takes a look back at what's happened inside Saskatchewan. As long as the TELUS Cup, Canada's National Midget Hockey Championship, has been in existence, the best teams from across the country have gathered to lay claim as Canada's best. Back-to-back -back national championships, the Red Deer Chiefs are TELUS Cup champions. Year after year, the best have been crowned. But look closely, and a growing trend has occurred that cannot be ignored. It's something even more evident with the tournament being held this year in Moose Jaw. 13 gold medals in the last 40 years have been won by teams from Saskatchewan, the most of all provinces. Just recently, five of the last 10 champions were Saskatchewan-based teams. Two of those teams, the Prince Albert Mintos and the Notre Dame Hounds, were back-to-back -back champs. Hound heaven, Notre Dame has won the TELUS Cup. In addition, a team not mentioned, the Regina Pat Canadians have won four titles, their last in 1999. Except for Notre Dame, no other team in the province can lay claim to TELUS Cup supremacy. In the Calgary zone, up front, it comes and scores! And the Regina Pat Canadians have won! And while hockey is the ultimate team sport, what's not lost in the shuffle is the notable Saskatchewan alumni who played in this tournament. Tarkovsky's down and somehow keeps that out. Unbelievable. Wendell Clark, Luke Shen, Brian Propp, and Dustin Tarkovsky have all played in the TELUS Cup and each have gone on to a higher level of play. Along the way, the TELUS Cup was just one of many important tournaments that helped form their passion for the game, a passion easily recognized and embraced in Saskatchewan. No doubt about it that Fans in this province have enjoyed success at this level. 13 over the last 40 years. And you could add Sheldon Brookbank of the Chicago Blackhawks as a happy guy today with his team winning. He played in this event. So a lot of good players have come out of the region. We'll see if the home province team is able to get it done here this afternoon as well as they've got themselves a 3-2 lead, the Mintos do, after 40 minutes. Jason Strudwick will join us after the break, give us his impressions of what we've seen so far and what Chattagay will need to do to try and win their first title here on the Prairies. It's a beautiful afternoon and a one goal game. What happens when you combine the best coverage with the best available power? and the best available fuel efficiency, you win the Automobile Journalists Association of Canada Award for the best new pickup. Incredible thinking, the best practice of professional grade. During truck month, get lease and finance rates as low as 0% and a 40 cent off per liter gas card when you buy or lease. Plus, eligible owners receive a $2,000 spring bonus. Have you ever looked for a hotel online? Did you notice that there's so many prices out there for the exact same room? Trivago searches hundreds of websites at the same time and shows you the most popular hotels. You can then easily compare all the hotels that meet your search criteria and find the room that is ideal for you. Remember, Trivago shows you all the different prices for the exact same room. That's how you can be sure that you find the ideal hotel for the best price. Hotel Trivago. Steve told his wife we'd be working on the lawn all day, spreading soil, seeding, fertilizing, but we're not doing any of that. This bag of CIL Golf Green One Step Lawn Makeover is exclusive to Canadian Tire. All we have to do is spread it on to go from a lawn like this to this. We should be out of here in about 15 minutes. Are you wearing fishing clothes? Who wears fishing clothes to do lawn work? That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. After the winter we had, try CIL's new One Step Touch Up on those bare patches. Only at Canadian Tire. Hey, Dad. Hey. Oh, that's an interesting outfit. Uh, it's designer. Right. <sighs> oh. Who's the designer? Dijon? <laughs> you get it, though, right? It was like yeah, no, I get it. Got these numbers going forward, and uh, we will try to do better. Didn't so we can sleep last night due to pain? Goals. Right, Jane? Try Tylenol Nighttime, the pain relief of Tylenol, plus a sleep aid. Tylenol Nighttime. Get back to normal, whatever your normal is. Carson Kaye has made these people happy so far. 
as he had that late goal with under two seconds remaining and a one goal advantage for the Mintos over Chateaugay as we look forward to the final 20 minutes of regular season action here in Midget AAA Hockey. Jason Stredwick, that late goal and the advantage right now for Prince Albert. What does that do for this Chateaugay club as we talked about it when we began the broadcast today? These kids really going through a big stage like this for the first time. I've been very impressed with this group. You know, you wonder about the age. They are a little bit younger than the other teams in the tournament. They've risen to the occasion. We saw them come in, they didn't look nervous. We saw them in warm-up, they didn't look nervous. They've come out and they've, they've surprised me with their physical play. <laughs> kind of playing PA the way they, I didn't think they were gonna play. It's been impressive, they've had some good defense, but Kreit is out all the time on the ice. He's playing big minutes. They've attacked, they've used their speed that we've all known they had to come on and attack the Prince Albert defenseman. I like what they've, they've done. They've just, they've, they've been mature, they're more mature than their age suggests. You know, we, we were impressed here off of the uh, face-off. Uh, definitely a set play, attack the net. Prince Albert not quite ready there for the goal. It's a lot of things to be proud of if you're the Shadow Gate. You do find yourself behind, but you know what? They played a hell of a game. They have indeed, and right now it's only a one goal differential. We've talked about it throughout the day today, and I think everybody intrigued to find out if we're going to get there. You never want to say it, but five games this week were not decided. There were overtime games, which tied a midget AAA record here. So what happens in the final 20 minutes? How do these teams continue to battle on if you're Prince Albert or if you're Shattergate? I think you stick with the game plan. Both teams are doing what they want to do. They're, they're playing their type of game. For Prince Albert, I would like to see them uh, do more of this. Keep Shadow Gathers on by having good uh, four checks, good cycles, working the puck along the wall. You're the bigger team. Use that ability, use that strength, and attack the net. Get to that, that, that blue paint that we hear everyone talk about so often in, in hockey. A lucky goal, un, 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 you know, lucky, unlucky, doesn't matter. At the end, they're winning 3 2 after two periods. And quite honestly, I consider this a tie game, or maybe Shadow has carried the play thus far this game. 144 teams began the quest. We'll find out which one is able to win, possibly 20 minutes away. Prince Albert has themselves a one goal lead here in Moose Jaw at Mosaic Place. Trivago searches hundreds of websites at the same time and shows you the most popular hotels. Remember, Trivago shows you all the different prices for the exact same room. That's how you can be sure that you'll find the ideal hotel for the best price. Hotel. Trivago. Join the team and play on the first line. Volunteer for the 2015 IIHF World Junior Championship coming to Montreal and Toronto. Visit HockeyCanada.ca slash 2015 juniors for more details. People say that online dating is a numbers game, but that's a lot of time and energy spent on people I'm not interested in. There's a better option. It's called LifeMates. The relationship consultants at LifeMates met with me in person and got to know me. LifeMates personal touch really made the difference. I told them what I was looking for and they handled the rest. And Lisa and I have been together ever since. Forget online dating. LifeMates put the odds back in my favor. LifeMates, right time, right place, right person. Each season, more than 100 teams take to the ice with hopes of playing at Canada's National Female Midget Championship, the ESSO Cup. Premier marketing partner of Hockey Canada, Imperial Oil is proud to help the growth of women's hockey across Canada. Visit hockeycanada.ca slash ESSO Cup. We grew up on the ice, and so it doesn't matter if we're playing at someone else's rink, or in someone else's province, or even in someone else's country. As long as there's ice to skate on, we're at home. The road to the RBC Cup is a long one. As a premier marketing partner of Hockey Canada, RBC supports teams in their quest to reach Canada's National Junior A Championship. For more information, visit hockeycanada.ca slash RBC Cup. Chad Hagey with the advantage in shots. Both teams score once. As we're ready for the final frame here at the TELUS Cup, the 2014 National Midget AAA Championship in their own zone. Looking to clear a chance right from the blue line. And George gets stopped by Mol Petit and an early stop there by the 17-year-old to keep his club to within one. Yeah, absolutely. He's looked sharp. Start the periods. He needs to be very sharp. I Razor thin margin for air here now for uh, Chateaugay with a one goal deficit. Brayton Lazinski will get it down in behind the Chateaugay goal. Opportunity right side. Puck is there. Can they find it? No. 
Highland will. And with two goals on the day, he'll work it all the way down the ice with Lazinski skating back into his own end. I really like that line starting uh, for Prince Albert. Energy line, and they do exactly what we talked about. Cycle the puck and works at the game in home zone. Lazinski takes a hard hit. That's Doucette coming in on the right wing side. He's got it there. Puck kicked out. And the right pad save made by Connor Ingram. Ingram's been the busier as of late as the puck comes off. And now it's fed out on a partial three on two break. If your M check can get there in time, but it goes out of the reach of Black here nonetheless. Great holding up your M check. Swings it down in behind the Chattagay goal. Peacock fluttering it to the line, held in. Boutin, no, he doesn't. And the Mintos get themselves back in on side, putting down their shoulder. Here's Dakota Boutin. Play read perfectly, and the Grenadier will roll it down, puck on end. And this one will go far enough for icing in an early face-off inside the Chattagay zone. Next year's event in Quebec. And the million dollar question right now, could Le Grenadier be a defending champ? Or will we see a champion? Because it's been a while, 2001, the last time that a Quebec-based team has been able to hold the big medal that Bruce Richardson and the rest of his crew would want. You gotta like to start by Prince Albert, Ken Morrison and his crew. The first time they've come out and been assertive to start the first couple of the periods, but can they keep it going? Sampson in across the Minto line, long shot, blocked away by Ingram. Far wing side, backhanded down. Parsons will take the puck over to Gramble. Belmar causing him some problem, and Parsons will find it again. Mintos with a one goal lead with 1.9 seconds to play in that second period. They were able to go in front on Kaye, second of the afternoon. De Gagne will get it down low. Morrison plays it off. Gramble couldn't get his stick on it. Crate is there. Puck in behind the net now. Sanch turning it, trying to bank it in off somebody, and he didn't have the angle that he had hoped for. Shadowgate forwards like to uh, hang back around the zone before the puck is cleared. That's twice now. They've had almost a, a breakaway. When's the push point? When's the wait back time here for the Mentos? Well, Find we out how structured this club has been all the way through this week. If they're able to continue now with so much on the line. We, when we sat down and talked to uh, Bruce Richardson, coach of Chateauguay, he said he never wants his team to sit back. They sure can't afford to now. De Gagne being watched. Uses the safety of his own goal to rim it high off the glass. Kipling skating back for it here. LeBear's right on top of him. Off to his defense partner, Reimer. Reimer gets underneath the forecheck there of McCullough. Bouncing puck onto Ty Fair's stick. Ty Fair plays it in. That one went off the helmet. Reese Kipling had no idea where it was. He's able to find it. Sobkowitz now to Uremchuk. As Booten in over the line with him. Slap shot just missed. That's where he was able to get one earlier in the game. Loves to shoot off the rush through that screen. Booten keeps the puck in for PA. Puck is out, and it went off a bench player in front of the Chattagay coaching staff. TSN's live coverage of the Ducks and Stars Western Conference first round playoff series continues tonight. It's game six. Live coverage gets underway at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific here on TSN2. Live streaming also available on tsn.ca and TSN Go. Main Street and Moose Jaw. Could there be a party when this one is all over? The TELUS Cup, is it here yet? We'll have to wait and see. That thing's been busy over the last 48 hours. We've seen it in the tunnels. We've seen it with the snowbirds. And much more as the day continues here. 16 minutes remaining in regulation time. Cardinal with two helpers on the day down to Levesque. Back to the blue line. Tyfair's shot clogged at Ingram. Out at the top of the crease with confidence, able to make that stop. You're going to see a lot of pucks flying at him. Ingram's got to be ready. He's got to be, again, aggressive, get out deep. What I look for, Prince Albert defenseman, they got to do a good job clearing those lanes. He saw this puck all the way into his glove. That's, that's, that's a great thing. But I think you'll see Bruce Richardson, coach of Shattergate, tell his players to start getting in the eyes of Ingram. If he sees it, he'll stop it. Wyatt Grant wins the faceoff for the Mentos. 
looking for their third championship. They were winners in 06 and 07. Here's Grant playing it off the side of the Shattagay goal. Looking for it, back of the blue line. Lozinski steps into it. Mon Petit, good save with bodies in front. Great. Ahead with it now for Shattagay. Get it, Crate into the offensive zone. Trying to do it himself. Save is made as Ingram blows the five hole. And they're opening it up now with Grambo in possession. One on one against the Gagne. A long attempt, glove save, and no problem for Etienne Montpetit. We are now in the third period of a championship game. A lot of excitement. The first two periods, both teams are sitting. Now everyone's standing. They're fired up, Munzi. Why wouldn't they be? It's a, they're that close to being champions. It's a long year, isn't it? Long year, and you're 20 minutes away. Either team can still win this thing. Very exciting time for these young men, but they've got to keep the composure. Shift by shift, you build a win. Sam Sohn able to take it off the faceoff and move the puck out now to the middle. As Sanch will get it down the ice. Belmar after it there, tied up. Reimer's in his back pocket. Sanch and Kipling will work now. Reimer in possession. 16-year-old out of Saskatoon will just airmail it out to the red line. Cargard down in behind the Shattagay goal. Sobkowicz is there, ran into Tyfair. Puck of the side comes free over to Belmar. And the Grenadier are able to move it into Minto Ice. Kipling right off the boards, back out. And now it's Sabrin in his own zone. PA making a line change. We are over five minutes into the third period. Two players have scored two goals. Kaye today for Prince Albert. And of course, Highland for Shattagay, which started the scoring way back in the opening period. Yeremchek causing some issues here for Crate, the two players we highlighted at the beginning today. So they're playing a big part in the final period. Sam Sohn lifting it up. Sanch has it. And now Booten will give it back to his defenseman, Locke Morrison. Parsons playing it off the wing to Blackier. Inside the offensive zone, Yeremchek to Booten. Back down to Yeremchek. Booten couldn't get it as the puck went on the wrong side of him. LaBerge has it now, and he'll just feed it in. Blackier on the left wall, clearing it high over everybody. Is this a strategy now for the Mentos, just trying to keep the puck away from their netminder? Can they go back into a defensive role with this much time? A lot, little too long, but very comfortable style for this offense. Connor Ingram able to turn away the long slap shot from Mikhail Sabarin to keep his club up in front by a 3-2 score. Scoring the big goal is easier if you make the right decisions. Water or fuel. Pass or explode up the wing. Deke left or split the D. Short side or top shelf. Gatorade Perform. Fuel's better than water. Fuel better, perform better. Ken Morrison, the head coach of the Prince Albert Mentos, trying to make sure right now in a tight game, Jason, everybody's on the same page. Crucial minute now. You know, they're down to uh, the third period. They have the lead. He's telling his guys to just relieve pressure with plays like this. A simple play, flip it all into the neutral zone. It is so frustrating for a team trying to create an offensive attack. Very difficult when you're going back, you know, 50, 60, 100 feet to get the puck. Breaks momentum for a challenging team. Durant's able to win a valuable faceoff there against McCullough. Under 14 minutes remaining here in regulation time. Morrison handling it back in behind his goal. Played six games in the WHL this year with the Calgary Hip and has problems with that one though. Puck out in front, side of the net. Ingram a couple of saves. 
And Morrison on the far boards is able to spot his man. And here comes Keegan Cargard along with Sopkowicz. Sopkowicz drilling it down in behind the goal. And now play is stopped from way back about 100 feet away. There's a penalty coming up from our back referee for slashing. And it's going to go to LaBerge. Pretty exciting uh, 20 seconds or so for the assistant captain uh, Morrison of uh, Prince Albert. Yeah, as he gets the puck clear, the Bears kind of gives him a whack. In a pretty uh, sensitive area. As he's trying to make the breakout here, though, leads to a great chance. Goes off the tip of his stick. Very fortunate that uh, Ingram is right on the spot. Takes all the net away. Minto's third power play on the afternoon. They're 0 for 2. Parsons right side. Morrison, he's got the heavy shot, but he'll give it to Uremchuk instead. Side of the goal to Blackier. Blackier fanned on the one pass. Sabarin's giving him some problem right now. Now it's Uremchuk. Uremchuk back door and skating with a puck and unable to keep it in is Parsons. Cardinal and Highland will move it down on the Shattagay shorthanded effort. Been impressed with the sticks by Shattergate in the lanes, making it hard to make those cross, cross uh, middle passes for uh, Prince Albert. Morrison moving it in. Buck is free and behind the Shattergate goal. Ty Fair and Boot. Booten property of the Brandon Wheat Kings. In behind the Shattergate net now. Getting some help from Black here. Uremchek as well, and this is Saverin right now, who's making all the play behind himself finally. It's Uremchek with a puck. Back to the midpoint, Morrison shoots, he missed, stick side. Can Yeremchuk get the wraparound? No, he can't. Back to Morrison, now the return pass. Yeremchuk pressured by Cardinal. Morrison wants to let it go, but Cardinal's blocking that lane. Parsons on the boards, he'll shoot it, blocked it front. typer has got it in his equipment, puck in behind the net. Booten playing it, and safely coming out is Highland on this penalty kill right now for the Grenadier. 30 seconds remaining in the Prince Albert power play. They had six shots on their first two tries. They were unable to score. Grenadier will get it down, and there's Luzinski skating for it, being watched by Peosov. Morrison's been out the entire time. Left wing pass, looking for Sobkowicz, broke it up. Great, clears it in around the defender, Luzinski. To the left side of his net, teams are back to full strength. And the Mentos are now 0 for 3. They still lead, though, by a single goal, vying for their third national title. Off the glass, it's Lazinski. And Sampson will take it now all the way back here for Shanigan. Peacock playing it off, wanted Peusov. Belmar wearing jersey number 27, checked there by Sobkowicz. To the line, Lazinski off the wall. Took a weird bounce, couldn't pull the trigger on it. Direct down and behind the net. Sobkowicz waiting in front. Another chance of putting it over top. Out the goal, Sobkowicz with Blackier right there. Lezinski had to go off a leg, and that one has hurt Sampson's left knee. You really got to like the way PA's attacking. They're not sitting back. They started a little slow in the period, but that power play got them on their toes again. They're cycling, they're making things happen in the offensive zone. We have reached the midway point of the third period. The Mentos guilty of an icing call. The Grenadier now with 25 shots against. So they haven't given up a lot. And boy, he didn't miss by much as falling down there. Big opportunity. Big opportunity. Those You're not going to get a lot of those the last 10 minutes of this game. Well, it's a nice thing here for Mol Petit. That one misses his head by about three inches. Yesterday, took it square in the forehead. Had to leave the pregame skate. Everybody was wondering if he'd be able to go or if Ryan Coughlin would be forced into action. Well, he was there, and he was simply brilliant, making 39 saves in eliminating the Toronto Young Nationals. I wouldn't say easily, but it was a 6-1 final. Played very well. I, I, Coach Richardson was joking that he now wants someone to hit him ahead of every game he's going to play like that. Etienne may not agree. <laughs> yeah. Kipling will bounce it down the ice. Over nine minutes remaining. Levesque losing the puck in his skates, plays it off for Highland. To the blue line, kept in. Morrison is shot, and Malpatine will turn that one away. Off the sidewall, Parsons will gather it back in neutral ice for Morrison. 
Prince Albert's found another gear here on their forecheck. Very impressive. Here comes Grant. He's got room to work. Gets by. No, he doesn't. Almost was able to get around Sabarin, but then he made a beautiful recovery. Very, very savvy play by Sabarin. Levesque in behind the mental goal. Loses it. Bring on to Prince Albert. Parsons will just play it in. Shanigan making a line change. Almost fortunate there. They didn't get called for too many men. Great. One hands it up. LaBerge right on the Prince Albert line. Loses it. Grambo will let his man Parsons play it. Parsons beaten to the puck here by McCulloch. McCulloch, their point leader during the regular season and playoffs. Watching from the left side circle, wearing jersey number 90, is unable to get it. And now Morris will get it down. Took a shot from McCullough. Morrison wants a penalty there, but none will be had in a tight game like this. Payusa bumped off. Here comes Yeremchuk. Putin going to the goal. He made the play, and Putin couldn't finish it off. Had the play, had room, and it just rolled off the toe of his stick. Beautiful attempt right there. Lots of speed on the rush. Wow, PA carrying the play. With under eight minutes remaining in the third period, Montpetit fortunate as the puck goes wide. Have you ever looked for a hotel online? Did you notice that there's so many prices out there for the exact same room? Well, Trivago does the work for you and instantly compares prices for over 600,000 hotels from over 100 different websites. So instead of searching for hours and spending too much, Trivago makes it easy to find the ideal hotel for the best price. Just go to Trivago.ca, type in where you want to go, and with two clicks, select your check-in, your check-out dates, and search. It's that simple. Trivago searches hundreds of websites at the same time and shows you the most popular hotels. You can adjust the price so that it fits in with your budget, and select a number of stars, or filter by average guest rating from over 34 million reviews. Remember, Trivago shows you all the different prices for the exact same room. And that's how you can be sure that you'll find the ideal hotel for the best price with Trivago.ca. Hotel, Trivago. Winning a championship never gets old, and for the second consecutive year back in 2007, the Mentos were able to do it, beating the Red Deer Rebels in the championship game, and Ken Morrison talked about it in his pregame speech. These memories last a lifetime. They absolutely do, and for this BA team, you can't look at the clock. It's impossible not to. You just gotta play shift after shift right now. For each player, probably four or five shifts left to go in this game. Just and worry the about your next shift. The coach knows what he's talking about, winning a Memorial Cup in 1985 with the Prince Albert Raiders. That'll get your job in Prince Albert for life. <laughs> Never have to buy a drink either. George back at his own end. He and Lazinski on the defensive side of things here. Seven and a half remaining in regulation time. Montpetit will leave it back there for Sabarin. Far side in Belmar. The highest that Chattagay has got in this event was a bronze medal, and Montpetit will leave the puck. This is where the structured play of Prince Albert was served them well. They're disciplined, they've done it all season. They're in place to make plays and defend. Sampson will move it, trying to work by Parsons. Can't do it, a body check and a penalty coming up to Sobkowicz. And this is shaken up, Justin Samson. Slow to get back onto his skates. He's trying with a little bit of pressure here and Corey Garland, their athletic therapist, will come out and take a look. Just Oof. a little, little bit too aggressive. Uh, a lot of energy right now. The, the, the blood's pumping. You're fired up. But you have to maintain your discipline. No need to take a run at a player in that situation. This will result in a power play for Chattagay, their fifth of the day, currently 0 for 4. Sobkowicz, the captain, in the box. He was their point leader during the regular season with 45, but can't help out now. Crate with it at the midpoint. Right circle, McCullough a drive, and the pad save is made there as Ingram's able to get his leg on it. Payusov to McCulloch. Midpoint and Crate. Power play for Shattagay to LaBerge. LaBerge trying to dance his way in. Good stick by Parsons. 
to the line. Crate with it again. Back to LaBerge. He'll shoot and able to get his mitt just in the corner of it is Connor Ingram. He has made some timely saves on the day. Shot to Gaze getting away a little bit from Crate, taking the high shot. Gaze taking that away. They're moving to the flank then now. A slight adjustment by Coach Bruce Richardson. Josh Roberts eating up some time right now here on the penalty kill. Payusoff being cut from behind. Black here run into Payusoff and the Mitchells will get it down. As we have just over six minutes now to play in regulation, a minute to go in the power play. 0 for 4 so far with 11 shots coming into this two minute try. Paul Petit will leave it there for Ty Fair. The Grenadier with 38 shots on the day so far too. Need to get some second chances. A lot of first chances, not enough second chances. Cardinal dropping it back with time. Levesque, can he get around? No, he can't. Reimer played him out in the corner. To the midpoint, Crate tees it up, missed far side. Sampson's back out there. He was the one that was shaken up on the penalty. Ty Fair looking. Wanted to go rink wide, a chance, he scores! Cardinal ties the game on the power play. His third point of the afternoon. He had two assists before and scores one of the biggest goals of his life. We just talked about the need of getting in front, getting dirty, getting mucky. They go to the front of the net, what happens? The puck comes there. It's a big goal for Chateauguay. PA though, not doing a bad job, the penalty kill. Fired up. They recognize the importance of that goal. Five minutes to go. It's anyone's game now. Who's going to dig down? Who's going to do the right things shift after shift? Cardinal thought he had made it a 2-2 game in the second period. But it was actually Highland who was able to just tap it by the netminder, Connor Ingram. And now officially on the power play. Martin Olivier Cardinal, the 18-year-old out of Mercier, Quebec, with his team leading fifth of the TELUS Cup, has now made this one a brand new hockey game. Five twenty to play in regulation time. That's the 39th shot of the hockey game for Chateauguay. One goal in the period so far. Don't go anywhere. What happens when you combine the best coverage with the best available power and the best available fuel efficiency? You win the Automobile Journalists Association of Canada Award for the best new pickup. Incredible thinking, the best practice of professional grade. During truck month, get lease and finance rates as low as 0% and a 40 cent off per liter gas card when you buy or lease. Plus eligible owners receive a $2,000 spring bonus. This is an Avioner. Avioners have the right to fly during peak seasons. The freedom to choose any flight on any airline. The freedom to avoid unnecessary flight connections. Avioners have rights and freedoms that are the envy of the travel rewards card universe. Get the RBC Avion card and start avioning today. For all your TELUS Cup information, including game summaries, stats, features, interviews, go to www.hockeycanada.ca, the online home for hockey in Canada. Power play comes up big for Chateauguay. Puck kind of takes a funny bounce off Prince Albert. Reimer lets his man get in behind him. Trying to front the puck, unfortunately that bounce Gets behind him, it's a big goal. The captain coming up biggest when they need him the most. And Ingram just not able to get that left pad down quick enough. 39 on the day have come his way and the captain, Cardinal, who he spoke with after 40 minutes live inside the locker room, wasn't too concerned that they gave up that goal with under two seconds to play to put his club 3-2 down coming into this frame. Both teams have played extremely well. Played their style of game. Probably fitting as the tied game. Right fitting in the event. Five ties during round robin play to tie. 
a Hockey Canada TELUS Cup record. There were some chances in the last couple of games to eclipse that mark, but it didn't happen. Great to Belmar. In across the Minto line, shoots off Morrison. Belmar with his own rebound around the boards, back and behind the goal. Sopkowicz moving it now to Durrett. Across the blue line, he's got his man Cargard with him, and he'll just feed it down behind the goal to Durrett. Centering on the doorstep, and it went over the stick of your Uremchuk. Samson with McCulloch back in. Dribbles his shot wide as Morrison will flip it off the wall, and Boutin will get it to the line, not out. Puck played around the side bars, comes now to Blackier. Slowing down the pace here for just a second is Morrison. Long alley-oop, can he get it to Blackier? They wave off the icing call. Sabarin for it and behind his goal. Now it's Uremchuk's puck to the blue line. Shot from Parsons didn't get through. Ty Fair protecting it in the corner against Booten. Now it's Uremchuk. Uremchuk trying to toe drag it down and he got lit up by Ty Fair. She sure did. Uremchuk wants that puck on his stick. You can see guys that want to be a difference maker, want to score the big goal. Holds on to it just a little bit too long on that one. You got to move it quicker, but you can see a lot of jump in his game right now. He wants to be the guy that wins it for his team, the Mentos. 31 points during the regular season. Played a couple of games in the SJHL with the Flynn Flon Bombers. Played 15 in the Western League. And now we'll see a penalty coming up. Slashing is the call. And Shattagay is going to be shorthanded as the man that threw that hit just a second ago. Jean Sebastian Tyfair will make his way into the sin bin. Not sure I agree with this call. Two players fighting for the puck four minutes to go. Let them compete. Let them compete for the puck. It's incidental contact when they're going for the puck. Uh, now, though, a chance, Munzee, for PA to answer back on the puck. Exactly. Cardinal got the 3 3 goal for the Grenadier. Here's the Prince Albert, five on four. Great three game, three and a half to go in this TELUS Cup Midget AAA National Championship. Sobkowicz, right wing side. Left point now to Parsons. Parsons drags it around Cardinal. In behind the goal to Durrett. Sobkowicz waiting, now he'll go down in behind the net. Three Mentos trying to move it free here from Crate and Sabarin who are logging off some pretty good seconds right now on the penalty kill. <laughs> they love to pin it up against the wall and just hold it. Great's a big, strong guy, and he can get it done. He's killing a lot of minutes, seconds here with this play. Durrett able to come free and get it. Cargard backhand missed. Low short side. Durrett to the line. Morrison shot save. Zobkowicz rebound, and Mo Petit is able to cover up with all sorts of bodies right there. Desperation in one word. That's what we're seeing out here from both teams. Great battles behind the net. They work it in front. Bit of a fortunate bounce here for it to get up to uh, Morrison. He walks an absolute wires one. He loves taking this big shot. Nice save by Montpetit. He is on it right now. Valdor in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League will be excited about the way this young goaltender has played for Chattagay. Booten back to Morrison. A blast goes off a leg of Payusov. Into the corner, holding up now. And Booten will get it free from both Blackier and Peacock. Now Yaremchuk shooting and sliding almost the wrong way. Bolt Petit is still able to keep his body in front of the biscuit. Prince Albert's had their best chances on the power play all night the last 30 seconds. We saw Morrison's big shot, and now here. Yaremchuk gets open. He'd like to have that one back. A goal scorer wants to score that one. Mentos have now had 31 shots on net. As the puck is cleared of the penalty kill, high off the glass by Sabarin. Ingram moves the puck himself to Uremchuk. Lock Morrison hits the opposition blue line, gets around Cardinal, around Crate. In behind the goal, Sabarin will take it. Morrison trying to use his strength to his advantage, gets knocked over by Crate. Booten feeds it down. Here's Sabarin pinning up again. He has been so effective this week in doing this. Low center of gravity. Mentos dig it out though. Yurem check with a backhand. Puck is there. Back to the blue line. Parsons had to go over his blade. 
And the Mentals will clear the zone with under two minutes to play in the third period. 3-3 three, three to score in this national final. Highland is out of the box. Ty Fair watches him too. And it's now five on five play. Icing called against the Mentos with 90 seconds to go. So, nobody scores in the next 130. We will have 10 minutes of sudden death, sudden victory, some would say, overtime. <laughs> if nothing happens in that 10, we would take a regular intermission. Players would go back to the locker room for 15 minutes, gather themselves, and then we would play for 20. And then we would go through the intermission, 20-minute procedure, until somebody ends this one here in Moose Jaw. Well, we need it. LaVere's just missed. We just talked about your inch up making a difference for PA. LaBerge, quite for most of the night, looking to be the man for shot to game. 70 seconds to play, puck in the neutral zone. Grant trying to break his way in, can't do it. Taken by Craig as he'll stop back in behind the goal. Craig with a long pass to the middle, LaBerge getting it down. Morrison for the puck in behind his goal, reverse it off of McCullough's on top of the puck. Side of the net, LaBerge shooting pad save. Rebound third to the point. Degagne setting things up in the offensive zone. Down to Payusov in behind the net. Backhand in front. Ingram's able to get a piece of that shot from LaBerge. Skating with it now is Ryan Durrett as he'll float it out and down the ice. Sabarin back for the puck. It just goes far enough for icing with 33 seconds remaining in a 3-3 game. PA faithful not happy with that call. Thought the icing should have been waved off. Couple of great chances here by uh, the top line for shot to gain. Ingram in position. Didn't have to make the save, he had the angle. Tired group out there for Prince Albert right now. Crucial last 30 seconds of this game. Morrison off the try, able to play it around the boards. And Sabkovic with his glove will get it out to center ice and direct across the blue line into the left wing corner around Craig. Sabkovic. Can't get it to the net front. Lovec off the board zone now with 15 seconds to play. Pilot with two tonight. Sends it on goal. Steered into the corner by Ingram. Sabkowicz playing it off now. Durant moves it to the middle. One last opportunity. Cargard ran out of real estate there by Sabarin. And no surprise, really. In round robin play, five games were tied. So the final game, nobody wants to go home from Moose Jaw yet. 3-3 three, three through 60. 41-32, the Grenadier have been able to outshoot the Prince Albert Mentos. And Chattagay was able to get the goal they needed on the power play by Martin Olivier Cardinal. Are you tired of online dating? Online dating sites can feel like one endless game, filling out profiles and searching through photos. I was tired of dating online, so I called LifeMates to find a real connection. I was also tired of online dating. I'm busy, and I don't have time to sort through online profiles. LifeMates met with me in person, I told them what I was looking for, and they handled the rest. LifeMates offers what dating online can't, a personal touch and proven results. Call us or visit us online today. You have nothing to lose and a LifeMate to gain. Up north, Canadians like Silverado's fuel-efficient V8, which beats Ford's EcoBoost V6. On the coasts, we enjoy that it offers the best available towing in its class. In the Rockies, we appreciate the warranty. 60,000 kilometers more than Ford and Ram. In cottage country, we love the easy parking. The all-new Chevy Silverado, true north strong. Truck month has been extended. Get lease and finance rates as low as 0% and upgrade to a true north edition at no extra charge. Brian Munns, Jason Strudwick, here is the tying goal. 3-3 to score on the power play. Captain comes up big when they need him. Gets to the front of the net. We talked about attacking the, the blue paint. Bruce Richardson said he wanted his guys to go swimming in the blue pool in there. They make it happen. The captain listens very attentively. They score a crucial goal to tie it up. Now we're in overtime. 12-11 were the shots on goal for the Prince Albert Mentos, but the captain with his third point of the game had assists on the two earlier goals by Tyler Highland has kept this one alive 
for Chattagay as they look for their first ever win. And Carson Calle has been the man of the day offensively for the Prince Albert Mintos. Two goals did not score this week during round robin play. And when you look back at the regular season, he scored 12 in 39 games. And a big reason why the Mintos are still going as well. 17-year-old Connor Ingram and Etienne Montpetit for Chattagay. One shot away from a national championship. Who will be the hero in Moose Jaw? Highland around the boards. Feeds it in behind the Prince Albert net. Levesque playing it down to Slazinski. Left wing side, Sabarin. Can he keep it in? No, he can't. As yes, he does actually. Blackier just had to go wide of his stick. Levesque run into by George. Your M Chuck played it left side for Blackier. His pass into the skates of Booten, one on three. Dakota Booten goes outside and behind the goal, knocked down. Ty Fair in possession. Now your M Chuck will steal it away for the Mentos. Back to the blue line, nobody's there as Morrison and Parsons get themselves on the ice. Ty Fair in his own zone. He and Sabra in the big defense pairing right now for Shattagay. How much will they play the rest oh. of this game? They've been out there a bunch, so it's great. It seems like every time you look up, you'll, one of those three is out there. Cardinal in front of his teammates, banks it off the boards. Morrison back for it, put it onto the tape of Durrett. The assistant captain over to Parsons. Parsons will gain the line and he'll shoot it around the boards. Belmar overskates the puck. Durrett deep in the right wing corner, waiting. Grant calling for it, he's got it. Grant gives it back to Durrett. Car guards in front. Cargard working for the puck, played off though by Levesque. And Chattagay will move it down as the Grenadier are able to get another line change in here. 90 seconds into the overtime period. Kaye into offensive ice, can't step by Crate. Crate moving away here for the Minto players. Great over the blue line, long distance shot, blocked it up high by Ingram up over the glass and into the end safety netting. When we sat down yesterday with uh, Bruce Richardson, head coach of Chattagay, he mentioned no matter the situation, he wanted his team to push the pace, to get into the other team's face. 14 years of professional hockey in North America and over in Europe. Played a lot of his time with the Hershey Bears in Chocolate Town in the American Hockey League. Off the draw, here's a chance. LeBears, they pound away, and it just goes wide. Payusov ran into there by Blackier. Ingram able to make a stop. It's in the crease area. They move it out. And Ingram's lost his mask. Did he get it back on in time? The referee standing right there. They want play to continue. And it will. I guess the biscuit's 200 feet away. And action will carry on. Here's Payusov across the PA line. Payusov. In behind the goal, looking for the wraparound. Paddle save there as Ingram watches this defenseman get it off the window, but not out. Second chance direct to the middle of the ice. Putin and Yuremchuk also on the ice here for the Mentos. Slap shot in by Morrison. Puck knocked down with a high stick, but play will continue. Degagne slowly striding his way through the neutral zone. Plays it in deep. Three minutes now into the overtime period. 3-3 to score. 44-32, the Grenadier have been able to outshoot the Mintos to this point. Levesque starting to wind it up. The assistant captain over the PA line dropped it back. And the Mintos were able to get it out. George in his own circle. Left side, Sobkowitz wins the strength battle there against Cardinal. Up ahead now, three on three. Here come the Mintos. Sobkowicz, left wall stolen away by Levesque. Levesque with it, looking to get by Lezinski. Hurdles right over top of him. But Kipling will take possession in behind his own goal. Mentos get it out in front of their own bench. Grant had it go back in behind him. Cardinal is there. Cardinal is the Chattagay club has had more offensive chances so far here for almost four minutes. They're pushing the pace and there's no bad shots in overtime. Any chance you're in that triangle, you gotta let it fly. Kipling does from even longer distance than that, and Etienne Petit has no problems with that at one side of the ice, and with the other side of the ice, he's been much busier. 
Connor Ingram has been solid for his team all night. Early in overtime, he faced a barrage of shots here. PA defenseman worrying too much about the puck. They should be moving bodies. He gets piled on here by uh, Pascal Leberge. Loses his helmet and he's fixes his hair. Goaltenders love their hair. He was almost smiling on that little play, wasn't he? Yeah, he wants to make sure he looks good. It's on national television. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> Jealous of his hair, actually. 5.49 remaining in our first overtime period. Again, if nothing happens in this 10, we would have 20 minutes after a regular intermission. And this kid's having fun. He's loving it. Oh, he's loving it. Biggest stage possible. He's playing great. His team's playing well in overtime. And again, so great to have an opportunity to talk to him after 20 minutes of play here today. A lot of netminders don't even talk to the media on game day, let alone in the middle of the action. And we asked him after the semifinal yesterday, and there was not one millisecond of hesitation. Absolutely, I'd love to do it. Sure. He was really excited. Funny guy as well. You know, we got a chance to sit down and talk. He's a very funny guy, engaging young man. And when he asked his uh, Ken Morrison about if he come on, he's like, oh yeah, he'll be the perfect guy. Didn't yeah. hesitate for a second. Your M check, able to win the faceoff, but cleared off the boards though. And skating back is Brody Reimer. 16 year old out of Saskatoon, paired here with Kindersley native Reese Kipling. Your M check went behind the goal. The defenseman though still have it. Now to Blackier. Blackier plays it rink wide. Your M check in front of his bench had his blade impeded there by Sanch. Now your M check in tight ice is able to play it in, but not for long. Up ahead comes Crate on the right wing, fakes a shot. Blocked now by Kipling off the wing. Crate pulling it in, your M check from behind it, the puck flutter wide, high glove side. Off the side boards, it comes back out. And Chattagaze, Sampson will turn back here as his stick breaks on him, and here's a chance. Sopko, it shoots, glove save, going down in the splits. Etienne Wapiti showing the athleticism. We got Ingram at the one end making big saves. Wapiti at the other end. Off the unfortunate break. That's the worst feeling. A quickly rip shot. He flashes the leather. Grant Fear style. Making it look good for the fans at home. Durrett and LaBerge on the faceoff now. Play along the side wall. In possession here is Cargard. Behind the goal, couldn't work it in front. The other number 19, that's LaBerge, will float it through the middle. McCulloch plays it now to LaBerge. He's in full flight. He shoots, blocked the rebound. Chance couldn't get it on goal. Sopkowicz has problems with it. LaBerge in tight. Kicking at it is Cargard. He in his pocket pick. McCulloch in the corner, and now it's Morrison for the Mentos. LaBerge very noticeable in this overtime period. Just over four minutes to play, McCulloch. Their point leader during the regular season, the LeBear's shooting stick saved by Ingram. Cargard safely off the wall. Not out though. Buck moved out here. All by his lonesome. Ryan Durrett will get it down. And the Mitchells will switch things up with under four minutes remaining in our first overtime. Ben Salvin seemed to want to play more of a counterattack style. When they get an opportunity to make the most of it. Icing called here against Chattagay with 3.43 remaining. You see a head down in the middle there for Tommy Belmar and the rest of his bench. It's been a long week, seven games and seven days for both teams. And this is where you got to be much, much uh, focused mentally, sharp mentally. You cannot let your guard down for a second because of fatigue. George plays it around. In behind the net, Crate stolen away, far quarter. Centering a tip, Kaye had to go over his stick. Lazinski in behind the goal, white to the middle, and there's nobody there in the green jersey. Lazinski playing it in, Malpati setting it up here for Danik Crate. Now he turns it over, shot over top of the goal. What an opportunity there. Grant almost had it on his stick. Highland in the other way, and that one caroms wide of the goaltender. Play in front of the Minto bench to the red line, no further. Lavac, Kaye, and now cleared down by White. A little bit.
bit of a mess in front of the PA bench right now. Lions been trying to keep things at bay. Ty Fair fans on his shot. Puck to the side of the goal. Boot plays it up here, and Blackier has got it for Prince Albert. Blackier angling in over the blue line. Onto the tape. Booten shooting save. Rebound. Ball Petit able to hang on to the second scoring chance. This is great hockey. Lots of excitement. We love seeing it. Ill-advised pass out. Big save needed by Mon Petit. And the intensity of this overtime period is really ramping up. Look at these. These young men battling out in front of the nets like a, a war. It is a war. Kaye just trying to get off the ice. Here Emchuk able to win the faceoff, but Sanch will get it here. Up ahead to Samson. Belmar in the offensive zone as well. Puck gets blocked there. And Blackier will dump his man, and then he gets hit hard. Yeremchuk, long shot from center ice off the skates of Saber and goes wide of the net. Ty Fair will play it. Airmails it up. Bouncing puck onto the blade, and Lazinski safely off the boards to center ice. Sanch waits for his mates to get onside. They do. Rax George back in behind the Prince Albert net off to Lazinski. Under two minutes to play in our first overtime period. Booten to Durrett. One on four, shoots the puck, blockered away by Malpatine. Payusov loses it there. Turning up, Cargard. Far side, Durrett back to the line. Morrison shoots, and another glove save by Etienne Malpatine. PA pushing the pace here. Last uh, three minutes of regulation, or of overtime, sorry. Morrison with the big shot, lets it fly. Again with the leather. He's gonna wear that thing out tonight, Mon Petit. Well, he doesn't need it again after tonight, so it's okay. <laughs> Gets a new one every summer. His dad takes him out, buys him a new glove. Last game of the year for both teams. One will leave a TELUS Cup national champion. Both teams going for it. No one's sitting back here. 45-39 are the shots now for the Grenadier. Off the faceoff, Arister didn't get through there from Cargard. Sabkowicz will backhand it down. Peacock in behind his net. Left wing for Crate. Playing it up the boards. Highland gets locked by Morrison. It's in their skates. Now move free to the point. Slap shot. Glove save again. That's 40 shots now for Prince Albert towards Etienne Montpetit. Crate spins away from the forecheck in behind his goal, and out he comes. Number 92, three on four. Long shot from the neutral zone, stick saved by Ingram. Behind the goal, rimmed by Parsons, but not out. Cardinal fanned on his shot. Mintos get it off the near wing and all the way back into Grenadier ice. Less than 60 to go here. We've almost played 70. McCulloch in front of the Grenadier bench to Levesque. Up on the right wing side, puck goes down. Lazinski Ford will drag it all the way back and behind his goalie. Left wing and Roberts, the fourth line, getting an opportunity now here for PA. Roberts up the wing, safely to the blue line, no further though. McCullough gets it down and actually it goes over the glass. And out of play with 16 seconds remaining here in our first overtime period. Both coaches in all their benches. All their players, are, they're not shorting the bench. We may see a change if this goes into the second overtime period. A little shorter bench, but they have faith in all their players. After all the games they've played this week in this championship, they got to play. You can't go down to two lines and then three defensemen or four defensemen. Face off in front of the Chattagay bench. Mento's able to win it. Parsons back in his own zone. There's Morris into Yaremchuk. Plays it in. Volpeti will set it up in behind his goal. Less than 10 to play in our first overtime period. Peyusov in across the blue line. It's blown down and at the buzzer. I don't think they'll put that second or so back on the clock. I think we are through 70 minutes of play, Mr. Strudwick. The, pl the players are waiting. And the referees will converge. Will we have a face-off yet right now? That's the million-dollar no. question. Better done. We are through 70 minutes of hockey. 
where the Grenadiers have outshot the Mentos 46-39. It's a 3-3 hockey game. The panel will set up NHL hockey on the other side of the break. A man's body isn't flat, it's terrain. 